we cannot pick it up where we left off on Saturday. So last time we came here, we were uh, we got started on getting this built. So, so get done eventually. You're starting to build the silo. Wonderful. You can finally start launching some rockets. Huzzah. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. We gotta work, gotta start thinking about the food issue because we've been having issue, food issues while this is all going. What can I do for food? I was thinking making a hatchet farm. Mushrooms, but I think mushrooms, what do I need to grow? Are they both flavorless fungus that grow in the dark? Stuff buried requires. Uh, I believe that's pepper pincha and bristle berry. Cast grass. So that must be for the new. Oh, there's some stuff that only grows in the other, in the DLC. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of new stuff. And this is the one I wish I had some of, but I couldn't find any in my entire environment, which is bizarre. In the coldest environment, they find no sleet wheat, so... We should start exploring a little bit more while this, all this thing is done, see if we can find some... Because sleet wheat will solve my issues so easily. Yeah, without this, I never actually found an ice biome. As cold as this place is, I never found an ice biome. Surprising. Nope. No sleep wheat. Alright, guess we're digging. Oh, the bunker is getting built. That's good. Good, good, good. There's no point in cutting this up here because this would just make some more meteors damage other stuff. So might as well use the natural natural ceiling over here. This one I'm gonna have to do because that's where the rocket's gonna go and all that, but I need so much steel for this project.
we did not dig over the Absolite, it takes forever. Yeah, let's just go over the Absolite. That makes more sense. Dig a lot faster. Oh good, we're gonna have another natural gas. Massive amounts of natural gas coming in again. The surf and turf here would also help out. I mean, with all the new wood seeds I'm getting, this, this guy should be more than enough food. Oh, this is creating a hot zone. That's not good. Oh no. <laughs> yep, it's happening here. I need uh, I need an auto digger to clean this up. Maybe pick this up and drop it somewhere else. See what areas is going to clear again? It's going to clear all of that by itself. Okay. So I need the mechatronic thing to pick this stuff up and get it out of here so it doesn't keep cooling this place down. I mean, warming this place up. So I do need a mechatronic project to just dump this somewhere else. Oh, it's going to be a massive, massive conveyor rail. Want to just drop it to the side to cool down? Might have to be the thing. Yeah. Yeah, just drop it here. I need power for that too, don't I? Derp. Derp derp. This is mechatronics. We need a mechatronic engineer to, to build these. And I believe I already have one. Mechatronic. Let's see. It's this one. Mechatronics engineering. I think it's Ada. It is Ada. Yeah, she'll build this. Because I gotta get all this hot stuff out of here. What what is this thing liquid? Oh, it led this liquid over here because it's too hot. Yeah, I gotta I gotta clear this up before it destroys my base. Glad I caught this early. Gotta be too cold over here, so it's gonna have to cool it down again. I mean, warm it up again. Yeah, this volcano here does not bring joy. Gotta stop it. Gotta stop it. The rest, this is already over.
Ah, the water should help cool down a little. I don't know where this water's coming from, but whatever it is coming from, it should help. Oh, it's the ice melting over here. It's not gonna help. Never mind. There you go. It is building the rail. Good, good, good. I should stop the heat transference and this should cool back down again. Yeah, because this heat gets here, it will melt the, the power and that's GG already. Yeah, the heat can expand west, but not east. The lead here might melt, actually. Guess we'll find out. We shall find out. One thing that I need to start thinking about this place too is a uh, more sustainable source of food. Me wood is great and all, but it's not gonna be good forever. Because cutting the extra morale boost, I mean, these these guys seem pretty happy. We could feed them barbecue from these guys. <laughs> oh, and there's all the transit tube that I haven't finished yet. Just so many things to do. This one's practically done. Good. We're so close. Say that I just thought this was the whole thing was done already. It's not. Whatever. Just just print the water. It's fine. to see how long this is going to take to cool this down. Oh, this is dropping pretty quick, actually. Does it melt? 325 Celsius. I don't think it's gonna get that hot in there. We shall see. Because there's some liquid lead here, and that's what I'm worried about.
Oh yeah, gotta... Do I choose? How do I pick what the, what the sweeps again? I don't think there's anything for them to pick it up. Why, why is this not picking? Oh, because you gotta drop somewhere else, doesn't it? Oh, I got this. I forgot. This is not how this works. This doesn't suck. It, it grabs it, but you gotta deliver something else. Uh, that's what these are for. Conveyor loader. We'll reach here, okay. Let's not make this out of land, otherwise it's just instantly melt. Cause that'd be dumb. Out of steel. Conveyor rail. Gotta get this hot stuff out of here. Did I already check what this is? I did. If it's a one, I probably don't want it. Do we find anything exciting to this side? Oh, there is a code biome. Oh, we might be able to find some sleet weed here. This might solve my issues. Maybe? Because this place is cold enough that sleet weed will just thrive in this area. So good. Please let this be sleet weed in here. This be fantastic. I can use all the natural gas we have accumulating too. Because so we can use the gas, uh, the gas range. Fantastic. Yay. Rocket Bay is getting built. Good, good, good. Oh, they got stuck over there. Shocker. That lead's not gonna melt because it's far enough from the surface. Guess we'll find out. Chill is put a couple more dry walls over here. That's my fifth rock. Perfect. Something I have a lot of. Was on. Oh my god, I'll just send the power. Yep, just no power.
I'm doing plastic. Plastic. 200 kilograms. Can at least get the surface connected. If they finish this, I will. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> Gotta finish the actual connection here. It's gonna be for this chip. <coughs> Maybe sh sh uh, go ahead and shear some of these. We can have some extra plastic too. That'd be great. Everything requires power. I always forget this one in particular here. Probably should have into this is actually on, but it's emergency this. <laughs> Get this done right now. Of course, it's bedtime, so <laughs> they're going to sleep. Because it's yellow alert. Do it when they have to work. Yeah, they won't do anything until it's bedtime, until it's the morning. Which means this is probably going to melt. Getting too hot. Even if it's made of, even though it's made of steel. Oh no, it's staying 65. Should be fine then. Guess it'll be fine. Okay, now let's set so they finish this up. And take their morning shower. Their morning entertainment. Then go deal with it. Let's see if we find some sleet wheat in that nice cold biome over here. Oh, gotta dig to find out. But usually you find sleet wheat in these. Oh, and there's another. Check out, there's another geyser. What's this one? Minor volcano. Yeah, we're not opening that one. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's a big no. It's like, what is that oil? It's carbon dioxide. <laughs> it's frozen over here.
Nicholas Evil has some kind of skin going on his keep in secret and the rest of the gravitas. Okay. Like there's like a whole amazing amount of lore for this game, it's fantastic. So we'll be fine on those lockers. Place some letters down. Yeah, leave this untouched. Gotta good finally some sleep weed in this. Cannot be an entire cold by what a single one. There's no way. Alright guys, emergency this here please. So you can get out. There we go. They're not the brightest. Eight under the stairs, they don't do that again. Yeah, the stairs be party eight. I mean, the digging be party eight, rather. And the stairs party nine. There we go. Because I would wear my hat today, but you're so comfortable sitting on my hat that I cannot have the heart to move you away from my hat. It looks so cute in there. Oh, we found some sleep weed. Oh, thank goodness. Found one. Uh, shoot. Do we have water that's cold enough for that? I'm gonna have to cool down water a lot, Jesus, because liquid needs really cold water. Yeah, can I look at this liquid? What it requ requires? Plants? Minus 55 to 5 Celsius. If I just plant it on a regular area like this, it should grow. Let's find out. We'll start small for now. Thank you. 
some water in there. Eighteen Celsius water. Hmm. Maybe a little like this, so it keeps going out. Then maybe leave it like a liquid shut off that I can control until we figure out if this is gonna work or not. Just gotta cool it down a lot. Oh, cool is the liquid. Oh, I guess I could use thermal containers too, but the environment here is just so cold. I could just use the environment to not even to worry. Maybe the more efficient way to do this. But for now, just gonna be a switch that I turn off when I decide to. Pull it down and then insulate it again. Yeah. Let's find out what happens. If we can get slate wheat to grill, we're in business. Then I can start making much more delicious food. Yeah, I'm not gonna, of course I'm gonna, because I only have one. So I need, to, I need to grow a lot more sleep wheat before I start making frost bun. But once the, all these are growing, we're in business. But I, at least I found one. Don't need any of this stuff. Sleep wheat should be a little, a little better than eating <laughs> meal wood. Cross bun. Yeah, standard quality. It's better than the hitting that one, that's for sure. Let's see if the temperature control a little better here. It's still some of it escaping, so let's insulate it. Oh yeah, this is definitely cooling the... There we go. Just use, use the environment to cool it down. Don't bother trying to make fancy stuff. If the environment can fix it for you. Just use the environment. Deal with this problem right here. Oh, somebody got stuck.
Yeah, see, it was 200 south, it's already down to 168. It goes down perfectly fine on that rock. I would even have gone f even further to clean into the Absolite because it's even cold colder. But this would this will do just fine. Let's just be safe. Let's just be safe. Guess I don't need this at all. This ladder. This is now guarantees that this doesn't leave any super hot rock over here. Warm in this environment. So close to my base. Gotta get that out of there. Wonderful. Yeah, this is now starting to cool down too. Heat transference does its job. Give me unreachable dig. There's nothing unreachable about this. <laughs> Stop flying, game. Plenty of iron here. Is anybody stuck up here? No. Now, the, my next step here is to make to the top of the sky and build defenses against the, the meteor showers that happen all the time. And that's pretty easy to do. Now this regolith that is super hot here, we start uh, whenever the rocket is ready. I will build the steam rocket right here to start using some of the steam. So that's why I'm building a little bay so that the steam stays here. Because if you just leave it open vacuum, obviously it's just going to go all away. For this first few rockets, it's good to use the vacuum to constantly reuse the same rocket. At least I like to build it like that. There's many other ways you can make a slow dripping water into a super hot water. It's whatever you decide to do. I just find this more power efficient because I use the environment to its maximum potential instead of trying to use tools and toys just use the use the environment it will take care of itself yeah once you take all the super heavy hot stuff out of there this cools itself down. I guess I don't even need this ridiculous setup here, but I, I learned a lesson. Oh, the plastic is also kind of done. We can finish this too. Awesome. Alright, so transit tube is ready to the surface. So now whenever they have to go to the surface, they can take a super fast shortcut. Awesome. Now I just want to see them use it. Run through all data. Gotta make sure they use it. My power is still pathetic. Gotta fix the power too. I'm going to move this oil to the bottom. 
This is not getting any more oil now. Yep, it's time. Can make this out of steel just in case. Actually, what material did I make this one out of? Gold. Out of steel. Plan to do this. Oh, those are the pipes, because it looks so close to the heavy wet wire. I thought it was the heavy wet wire. No, those are just the pipes. Derp. Alright, folks, get this done. Power. Oh, our fishes are growing much better too. Although they actually have proper food. I'm feeding in all the mealwood seed because we have so many freaking one of those in storage. Like, let's see. Mealwood seed, I'm right on the front page. Yeah, 602 units. And this will constantly keep spouting more of them. Finds a use for these too. Not a fan of this area being this toasty though. We get this material dig dug out, might help out. Well, speaking of material being, let's see how the, the water here is gonna su survive. Let's test it. Oh, this is not even it's not even constructed yet either. They probably are waiting to finish this first before they get started on the other project. And that, that's what they're waiting for more steel. So if I set this to priority lower priority, maybe they will work on that one instead. Use the dim. Oh, you're not using the dim tubes. Okay, you're not going up there. Oh, he does like to dig, so that's what he's doing. He's digging. How's this done? Oh, it's done. Fantastic. It's not connected though. Priority, just get this done, please. There, there we go. Now we're talking. And this being made of steel, they don't have to worry about them melting ever. 
Because they, their melting point for suicide like for an additional 200. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, 2,400. Okay, I don't have to worry about melting point at all. They're just fine. <laughs> Just wage automate so this is never stops running, but there isn't a way to automate that. At least as far as I know. I'll take more scenes. Always take more scenes. We haven't finished this this either. That help to heat dissipate a little. Yeah, it's cooling down. No, no, it's staying the same. 44 Celsius. This needs to cool down. <sighs> How do I cool this down? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This area here is gonna cause trouble otherwise. Pickles. Hey. Can I have my hat now? I guess I can have my hat now, huh? Yeah, my ears are cold. Here you go, kitty. What options for cooling the place down? Um, I, my favorite is to use the sleep wheat. Hey, Rizia. No worries. You know what? You never please, never apologize for lurking. It's totally okay. Hey, jelly friend. How's the spaghetti caves? Doing fantastic. We've tamed the volcano. Uh, yeah, it was the first time I ever dealt with a volcano before. And now I, I found some sleep wheat I can plant. Found two, apparently. So I'm gonna try to experiment with water being a little colder. Let's test it. It's a little bit of water. Oh, it's too cold. Okay, a little bit. It was just enough to realize that that's way too cold over here, so the water cools down too fast. Okay, so I guess one single pipe of frozen water should be enough. Wow. Okay. So let's insulate this back. Oh, didn't have to priority. <laughs> priority 9 is okay. Doesn't have an emergency. We have our uh, plastic tube finished, so they're already using it. <laughs> now I had to finish the one that goes down here, so they go get here a little faster as well. You go very fast, zoom zoom. I gotta stop using the priority. Just nine is fine. Yeah, just use nine. Oh, I'm out of plastic. Guess they're on a quest to deliver that plastic. And done. Yeah, this thing right here, they're gonna arrive pretty quick. Because now they're using this plastic tube, right? So they can go to the surface where I started doing the rocket launch bit. Rocket launching day. It's gonna happen. <laughs> We're climbing to the surface. Totally, totally safe. Build a ladder in open space. But there's the edge. There is the edge. So then we build bunker doors over here. But once I have enough more, I don't have enough steel yet, which is being made. But once I get enough steel, we should have a protective area here, so I don't have to worry about the meteors destroying my base anymore. Maybe we should start building solar panels to get some additional power in here. It'd be amazing. 
I can connect the solar panels to the main power grid as well. But it's a work in progress right now. <laughs> Got lots to do. Lots to do. say hello if I can have you in one of those days no worries well I always say it's always funny because for me Mondays are kind of my Fridays because that's that's my uh, last day of the on the week stream and then I stream back on on Thursday so for me Monday's like yay it's Monday it's my Friday <laughs> sorry it's because I don't have tomorrow and Wednesday off everybody's like oh god damn it Monday just got here they have the whole week ahead of me then again, I don't mind, because I'll be playing games tomorrow anyway, even on my days off, because that's what I do. Play games every single day. <laughs> right, Pickles? You're still fighting with Sprinkles, you know that? Yeah, you're still being a jerk. You're adorable, but you're, be you're still being a jerk. Sure they clean this up. I'm tired of looking this mess everywhere here. It's just this area just needs to be cleaned up. Okay, the, the rocket style is being built. We're literally just waiting on steel to get made. So get to finish it. Because this is going to require a lot of steel. Now the stairs are all going to get broken down by all the meteors. You're going to hear like a xylophone as they hit the stairs. But these bunker tiles, they can withstand it. See, but the ladders, not so much. <laughs> They never have to repair. <laughs> yeah, the ladders still work even if they, they get hit by meter, which is always fun and silly in this game, but... The Ziblet anyway. Yes, yeah, like that. The bunkers can withstand it just fine. How your legs thankfully off for two days after tonight. Nice. Very nice. Okay, something must be going on with the bathroom because they're not using the bathroom. Yep, it's stuck. <laughs> Why are you stuck? Is nobody feeding you scent? Oh, you have no power. Oh, shoot. Why do you not have power? Oh, that's not good. This does not bring joy. Somebody needs to run the generators. Yep, we need some hamsters. Let's get this whole thing going again. Let's go, people. Just some hamsters to get the whole thing going again. Alright, 
Let's see, with one single tile going through water, that's enough to not break it. Water's going in 14 Celsius. Oh, I found forest lead to eat. Amazing. Oh, that, that's enough to grow it. Fantastic. Fantastic. We have sleet wheat, folks. We have sleet wheat. We should start having frost buns pretty soon, once you have a full farm then. Fantastic. That'll be a better quality of food for them. Is this cooling down? Oh, it's much cooler. It was 44, down to 39 now. It's not going to use the bathroom again. Tomorrow morning, make sure you clean this mess. Not leaving this mess behind, please. I'll just get more sleep wheat now. Oh, or arbor. I guess I can get some lumber. I don't know what I'm gonna, I've used the lumber for. But I guess I could feed some pips. If I really wanted to. There's also some natural gas on this side. Hey, Banjida. Happy Monday. How are you? Got some of this horrible gas out of here now. So I did a little bit of mechatronics here to get this little thing to empty out the stuff that comes out of the volcano. So that it doesn't create a hot spot. Yeah, so see, it was it was like getting to like a hundred Celsius, but it's already down out of the 40s. Doing well, setting up a new phone, enjoying this last day off. I'm doing okay. I'm just getting this base going. That's all. Just having a good time. Playing some Oni. Oni is so much fun. Some of my favorite games. I'm so happy you guys like to watch it too. Because I plan on playing it on stream a lot. Hi, Pickles. Hello. Is it getting close to your food? Hmm? Don't like me in the face. Okay. Mao? Because. Mao. Mao. Was there a new update of DLC for this game? No, there's a spaced out DLC that came out, I want to say, in December. It was released. But this is just the, still just the vanilla. Uh-oh, somebody got entombed. <laughs> yeah, no, this is just the vanilla still. Because I still have not finished launching a rocket, and I want to. Did we learn that the meteors do not hurt them? I mean, not enough to kill them, at least. Alright, Ada. This might be a time where you leave this area, okay? Let's give you something else to do at the base. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do this in the meteor storm. You're gonna die here. Nope, doesn't care. It's like, nope, it's gotta be done. I'll do it. It is very brave. See, meteor is done. All good. So the goal here is to get to the surface. I mean, to the edge. It's been a little terrible, but I'm gonna fix it.
Any more stable sources of power? <laughs> the best time to build a lightning rod is during a thunderstorm, so you can be sure it works. There you go. Okay. <laughs> exactly right. I want to make sure somebody is always running this refinery, but they're not quite finished with that yet. I guess I'm going to just uh, officially get this done right here. So I'm living in this natural environment. Now this plastic needs to go from here all the way to here. So let's go. Once it's disconnected, they could be able to use the plastic tube to get all the way to the bottom much faster too. And back up much faster too. Maybe I should separate leave one for oil, one for petroleum. Like one for plastic, one for this one, so this stops using it. Because once those plastic things are done, I don't want it to keep making more plastic. I might should put a shut off valve over here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I gotta do this to stop this from wasting all my petroleum. Just goes through petroleum soup, but right now, of course, not because they're still building the tube. But once this is done, I have no reason to keep this plastic going anymore. I built already my uh, beds and already have the tubes, so then the plastic will just be used for something more useful. They're making lots of babies over here, that's fantastic! Look at all the, all the babies. This place is going to be crawling with piranhas. Swarming piranhas? I don't know. How much ice do we have in this one little storage? Seven tons <laughs> about regular ice. That's pretty nice. Three tons, okay, it's not that much actually. It would certainly help to keep this place cool with a bunch of this tons of ice over here. I don't have to any worry about cold coldness in this area at all, but let's see how this leetweed is doing. Oh, not so good. Need some more water. This one is what I'm going to control because this is very easy to break the pipes. I'm going to leave this purposely here by myself so I can control it. Is that even at 23 Celsius, the, the water is at this still survive because this requires negative 55 to 5. Maybe the water doesn't count as best or it doesn't warm enough. Or the fact that it's insulated, it keeps it from dying. I must have just accidentally discovered something. 
The plastic dry cost study right here. Be right there, Dabby. How are you? This, this is all on disable auto harvest so that they my dupes don't eat this. This is their grazing fields. So I'm living death for them. Yeah, I wanna see what happens if I just completely insulate. Maybe this is completely unnecessary then. It's science time. Maybe I didn't even need that at all. I was just seeing if the water was gonna be too, uh, it's gonna freeze the pipes, but I think it sh they should still survive. Okay, this is this is uh, emergency right here, so it doesn't freeze. Yeah, get that done, please. Don't care if it's bedtime. Get this done. Don't you dare go to bed until that's done. <laughs> yeah, looks like the water here is doing just fine. Sitting at 25 Celsius. It's cooling down though. Hmm. And this is somehow doing just fine. Normally this last, last time I tried doing a slit wave farm. Hey Dragooner. Yeah, last time I tried doing a slit wave farm, this just broke so easily. Also, I'm so happy to see all the animated emotes. I'm glad you guys like them. Like I've, I've been it took me so long to find a, a a good artist to get them done. Like I like I need somebody to that can animate them properly, but every everywhere that I would look for it. There'd always be somebody that is a scam artist, like somebody's trying to take your money away for animation and not actually do any work. It's just ridiculous. Almost there out of two billion channels. <laughs> so another 325 years, Dragooner, almost there. So another 325 years, you'll be there. <laughs> You're close. Once we have a full farm, we'll be able to eat much healthier food. But for now, if I can just use this to serve them, because I need I need the actual wheat to grow more. No. You own this game, but never really put much time into it. Always wanted to. Well, I'll be. Pl I'm actually planning on playing a lot of it on stream, so hopefully you get to enjoy it. Vicariously through through me. <laughs> I love playing it. This game is one of those games that is I think this is officially the hardest game I know. Because of all the all the things you have to worry about, temperature, power, germs, etc. and so forth. But it's down downright my favorite game ever. Because there's so much to think about it that it makes a fun game for me. It makes surviving Mars look like checkers by comparison. <laughs> Surviving Mars is always like super. People, like, uh, people come up with all these strategies for surviving Mars. I'm like, surviving Mars is a simple game. There's no challenge. It's a casual city builder. Like, no, but you have to worry about this and that. Like, no. Surviving Mars is easy. <laughs> surviving Mars doesn't even come close to the complexity of oxygen not included. It's such a fun game. Oh, it's starting to warm up again, so these are growing back. Good, good, good. Oh, 
Alright, how goes the platform building over here? Still going. Okay, that's not a good place to sleep, Ada. Oh my god, and you're stuck there. No sleeping. Get out of there, at least. What? Jesus, Ada. We're just gonna live in the middle of that meteor storm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fine. She's determined to finish in the ladder. Gotta admire the commitment. Yep, you in your suit. Nice. Be meteors. Yeah, I'm, don't worry. I'm, once I build the bunkers, they, they won't be a problem anymore. That's what I'm saving. I gotta save a lot of steel for this. Bunker doors. So I can start placing them. Oh, apparently I built it too high. How much steel do I have now? <laughs> I, can, I can do one. Single door. Nice. Hey, it's a work in progress, right? Gotta get it done. They were in fixing it. Because if I take this, this whole thing will fall. There we go. Just let them finish that little part. They love using this transit tube. <laughs> it's a lot faster to get back. It's kind of funny. Let's slow it down so you guys can watch this. <laughs> Look at them go through the transit tube. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Alright, we're almost done over here. Going down is going to be faster too. And coming back up. I could just turn this off too instead of making this whole additional power user. I could just literally disable this once the plastic thing is done. Well, the water coming down here is just freezing because it's too cold. Good, good, good. Yeah, 
And stuff here is stuck again. Heat problem from the regolith? Uh, regolith is really, really warm. Yeah, at the very top, regolith is ridiculously hot. But what I'm gonna use it for is to generate steam for me. So instead of bothering to... You know, making like a, a, a hot room to create steam. Okay, you guys really gotta stop preparing this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna make this so that they... Uh, Use the, the meteors when they hit this and create all this heat. They will turn this into steam for me. Which is what I'm, I'm going to bring water up here eventually. Which is what this thing here is for. Right, this is, is already connected to the water. It is. I could have used bloated water, but any water will be fine. That's so much water. Eventually the rocket is going to be over here. I'm going to go ahead and drop the water. Start filling this with water now. Yeah, this is my one of my stupid ideas that has worked and I'm so proud of it. So I'm going to do it again. my storage for steam nine containers up together. Memory serves me right the last time I did this. Need a lot of steam. Basically, if it's not steam, vent it into vacuum. If it's steam, vent it into the containers so that we can start accumulating that for when we're ready for Building a rocket. Do I have enough power to hold all this? the power load right now 26 okay I have to remove one of these there's too much but too much uh too much power going through this right here now I'll start a new one that's just enough so we're using this one Oh yeah, they, they might not be able to reach this one. Crap. Let's 
also means I have to put drywall there because that's that's vacuum that I'm opening them to. Sorry guys, I got you. Here's here you go. the steam we're gonna need to launch the rocket hey RDG, how are you So I don't have enough frost buns to grow that. They're still slowly growing. Thank you for the most part. Got those bunker doors up at the top yet? Getting built. Slowly but surely. I know because you want the bunker doors too. Or maybe you want food. I can't tell which one it is. The food? Okay. You want a snack? You want a snack? Somebody want to give us a snack to the kitties? <laughs> Somebody want to see a kitty getting a snack? Hmm? I don't know, Pickles. I don't think anybody wants to give you a snack. Oh, there you go. Somebody wants to give you a snack. Let's give you a snack. Pick sprinkles. <laughs> Sprinkles. I guess sprinkles and pickles are still fighting, so I'll give I'll give sprinkles separate. Hang on, kitty, hang on. People gotta see you. Gotta really be able to see you. Hang on, hang on. Just don't call my hand. I'll give you. Couple more. Couple more. I got you. I know. One more. One more. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Okay, now I gotta go give Sprinkle some snacks too, cause Sprinkle's to eat all his other snacks. So let me go give Sprinkle some snacks. Cause Sprinkle's in the other room. They're all chilling by by himself there. So let me let me go feed Sprinkles real quick. I could just bring him here too. Yeah, let me, let me go grab sprinkles. Come on, pickles, don't steal more food. You already got like seven of them. Don't be a glut. Hey, this, these are sprinkles. Yeah, let's put you over here. I'll get you more snacks, okay? Alright, you guys get you guys have to see sprinkles getting food too, right? It's only fair. Sprinkles deserves it too. 
All right, Sprinkles, you get any more snacks? Two over there, okay? Not you, Pickles. <laughs> you already got like 20 of them. There you go, buddy. Okay, fine. I didn't even be able to hold it. Num num num. Oh, somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck. Kitties, go, go, go. Somebody's stuck. <laughs> They're probably stuck up there. Yep, they are. They aren't the brightest. <laughs> They're almost out of air. Yeah, I'm feeding the cats and now the colony is dying. Totally okay. He almost killed A that they teach he almost. <laughs> yeah, that was that was them up here. It's fine. When they take their suits off the it just freezes because it's too cold. Alright, pickles, you can go now, okay? Come on. That's it, buddy. Okay, you can sleep now. Yep, just chill over there, okay? Yep, I knew this was gonna be too cold. I mean, too hot, too hot rather. I'll build this out of a uh, steel. Yeah, meanwhile, this is like... <laughs> this is like open vacuum right here, we're just leaving it open. Totally okay. Is there one, is there one of these for auto repair? There isn't, is there? Because I don't want them to repair these. Forget it. It's fine. Don't need to worry about this at all. It's silly, but don't bother repairing these. We'll fix that later. So don't have to worry about meteors anymore. In the meantime, we still gotta worry about them. And are we still venting stuff? There's vacuum here still. Yeah, they gotta finish this whole project first. your life into Lost Ark lately? Oh yeah? How, how's that going? I heard hearing some pretty good things about that MMO. I know WoW has like a new patch coming out tomorrow too. That's what I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. It's good and grindy of course. Well, it's an MMO. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be an MMO if it wasn't grindy, right? Oh, there's a vent here. What is this vent? I haven't looked at it. What is it? 
leaky oil fissure. There's oil way up here? That is such a weird spot to have oil. Let's leave that be for now. <laughs> Not the spot to have oil. Just leave that be. No, actually, this is good. I know, but think about it. Once we start getting petroleum engines, perfect spot for it. <laughs> I guess we already know where we're gonna get our petroleum. We're not gonna have to make the pipe all the way from down there anymore. Fantastic. Very odd. Just very odd to have oil way up there. Oh, this tube is almost done. I know, immediate access to fuel. Pipes are all still blocked over here. Hmm. They just need some sort of fail safe to empty it out on when it doesn't work properly. Because this is causing issues. Yeah, where exactly it's blocked here? All the exits are empty. It shouldn't be blocked. And yeah, this stuff here almost doesn't make sense. It does not make sense to me. Maybe it's the steam. It's the natural gas. It's the freaking natural gas. You can't get out. I have too much natural gas again. Time to expand it yet again. Oh, it keeps my dupes busy, I suppose. Oh, does not bring joy. Let's make sure this is aligned. I was like, that's not perfectly aligned. Yeah. It's a natural gas. The the vents are not overpressurized, not not in any way, shape, or form. It's the natural gas. The vents are perfectly fine. It just doesn't have enough storage for natural gas, so natural gas cannot go anywhere. And this is this is the culprit right here. Hey, all these are filled with natural gas, by the way. <laughs> I almost want to make another natural gas generator. So I use more natural gas. But the one air filter set to chlorine gas? Does it just send chlorine off as it? It goes here, right? The chlorine should goes here. Or it goes this way. The chlorine is fine, is it because with the air that comes out of here, so the chlorine comes here. That's the out, and it goes into the thing that the filters natural gas out, and then once natural gas cannot go anywhere else, there's probably yeah there's there's natural gas sitting in this one right here, so it cannot escape. So nothing else can move while this natural gas sits here. So that's the that's the culprit right there. I could make this like uh instead of making an imperfect in uh, but that there's a term for that in in circuits. So it's like a parallel, or what's the other one? God, not, not my mind. Mine is blocking off stuff from college. It was like a, it's in parallel or in series. Series, that's the word. 
So if either the pipes are in series or in parallel, I think currently have them in series. If I did them in parallel, so they split evenly amongst all the filters, but then I would have the bed, yeah, in series, serial series. But if I have the, the problem with that is, then you have all sorts of messy filters and you, you also end up in a loop that can do it. You have a natural gas room and just vent it into space. No, natural gas is used for power. I don't want to vent that. Chlorine, sure, chlorine is useless, but I'll, I have enough chlorine as I ever need, but the natural gas is power. I just need to use more of this power. Maybe we should put a second one of this over here. Maybe put it up here. Yeah, this actually be a good spot right here for it. Alright, time for a secondary one. Gotta use more natural gas. Which means more power. I don't think I even connected this automation, did I? I did. Oh, I did connect it. Huh. Can you remember what I already done? that and More uses for natural gas, like it uses more, creates more power. Like, look at all the natural gas that is being naturally formed with, with the... Whenever CO2 interacts with oxygen, somehow in this game it generates natural gas. I don't know how that happens, but it happens. <laughs> look at the fishies. So much fishies. <laughs> Well, this is all the eggshells we need for lime, right? For steel. That's fantastic. Yep, free meat there. Yep. Tons and tons of free fish. this done. I hate to use part emergency one, but please just you just do it. I'm kinda tired of watching this. Plus all the power issues on top of it? Yeah, we just gotta make more. It's on a yellow alert, so... I suppose they'll finish it in the morning. Oh yeah, I guess they, they can't reach this anymore, can they? herp a derp I think about it, the natural gas vent only goes on for so long before it's dormant for a long time. It does. And, but I'm also generating more natural gas out of the environment because of the CO2 interaction with the O2. The o but yeah, this thing stays on for a very long time. There you go. For 100 cycles, it stays on. Every 162 cycles. <laughs> it is it, more than enough <laughs> natural gas to last us a while. The hydrogen has not been a very sustainable source of power. Most because our power has been so so bad. Yep, a hundred cycles worth of natural gas. I think we have enough.
Okay, you should be able to reach this. Why can't you reach this? Guess you can't jump from here to here. Fine. Fine. Get this done. There, now you can reach it. And we use for run for a few seconds and then be done because there's no output for it. Yep. Yeah, this I, I hate to use priority again, but this gotta be done. At least two of these tanks while they're finishing this. CO2 go elsewhere, does it feed back into the system? It feeds back into the system. The CO2 just gets uh, soaked up over here. You see I have two skimmers right here. So when the filter for is CO2, you get immediately immediately deleted once it gets spot out right here. So this never causes overpressure. Same with the polluted oxygen here. When it comes out, it gets transformed into oxygen right away. So these are kind of pointless. They don't need it to be here anymore. Yeah, the issue that I'm having right now is that these things are not running where they should be at all times. I think now with the double natural gas, they should be working at all times. But yeah, see, they, they run out because we run out of power. And they stop working, and that's not good because that's that's our entire oxygen there. Even though we have a ton of oxygen right now, it, it looks like we don't need it. We're 1,800 in the air. I still worry all the time that that needs to be working at every single time. Oh, the natural gas is moving again, so this should all be running again. Well, I say it's barely running. Okay, I see the problem now. You see the problem here? It's because we all, with this setup, it always prioritizes the main before it accepts more input. The way that this is done. So I have to deconstruct this and connect this to here. So that it balances out which one it takes from. That's the issue right here. There. That should stop the whole thing from ever... Because then it will always take half of each. So it never backs up again. That's all I had to do. <laughs> so let's just prioritize this. So we can stop this stupidity. Because now we'll start getting stuff from here again. There we go. There we go. Magic. <laughs> Magic of pipes. Yeah, this is just natural gas eating from the environment. 
yeah this whole pipe it might look like it's a lot of natural gas from the no from no this is just from the pure environment that we're generating all this natural gas so we'll clean this mess yep I just add another thing to c consume more power eventually I plan on doing like a gas uh, range maybe uh, cook some fancier food Or if we start getting excess, I could just vent it into space. Oh, the lead here. Apparently there there was some uh, volcano eruption here. Oops. Oh, this is high as it goes. I may have to make it to the side a little. I say this is the problem also right here. They keep trying to rebuild this because it's next to the volcano. I probably should just seal this off because I don't really need this at all. Yeah, no, it's called. Yeah, no, I know. There you go. I'm so just gonna ignore this for now. Close it off. It's it's sealed anyway, so it should be fine. Right? Famous last words. It should be fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. That's the worst that can happen. <laughs> Actually, what if instead of, uh, Deconstructing this, I just put this on the side, like the the sweeper, because if it's right above it, sure I understand that it should not because it's right at the mouth of the volcano. But right here, it's 600 Celsius difference between here and here, so I could probably just put it here. Yeah, just just put it here. Should be fine. <laughs> Can still reach that and and all. He actually melted granite. It got so hot here that he actually melted the granite. I love it. This is fine. <laughs> This heat won't em emanate into the base anymore. Nice and toasty. Oh, look at that! We actually get enough sleet wheat now that we can actually start eating frost buns. Let's eat some frost buns.
Yeah, this area stays cool enough. I can make more farms, I suppose. How about we make a sustainable farm of sleepweed before we start eating it? Yeah, before I start eating it. Let's let's make a sustainable farm of it. So let's play on like this whole thing is just gonna be a massive farm of sleepweed. We'll just copy this over several times. We're done with rockets propelled with steam. We can also do the use the space heat to make con continuous steam generation for steam. Yeah, that's the thing. Good. And here's the best thing, these things require phosphorite, which these guys generate, right? They require phosphorite to grow. Oh, dirt! They don't always dirt, even better. It's the pe pinch of pepper that grows on, uh, that requires, uh, phosphorite. Wrong plant. Yeah, I could even I could even set up uh some that collects the wheat automatically and dumps it in the kitchen just for fun. Do mechatronics here, like something that just picks it up and dumps it down uh, right down there in the kitchen. So when they cook it, it's already ready there. Totally tubular. Have duplicates travel ten kilometers in pipes. Nice. Speaking of that, how goes that? I haven't even finished that yet. You know, I'm actually going to leave this closed for a second while I finish that other project. And they haven't even finished this either. I have like 18 different things going as usual. <laughs> but hey, we started on this, so that's good. We just need a ridiculous amount of steel now.
Yeah, it's completely normal. I'm not going. I'm well aware. <laughs> yep. So makes this game so much fun. Natural gas stuck again, but this time they actually think about this instead of just feeding off from one place. They actually split it. Split the input here. You see, this is never gonna get stuck again because now it actually splits the input. It might do a little delay, but it's never gonna get permanently stuck. So good. As I say that, look at that, they're stuck. Oh, it's because we're full of power, so it's... this is good. It's good. Full of power. Let me set these to 8 again. You guys can go do something else. It's more important than running on the steering, on the hamster wheel. I think we have enough food here for fish, right? How we're doing a mealwood seeds? I just wanna see, just for comparison. <laughs> yeah, in 50 cycles we use 20 mealwood seeds. We're producing like 30 every the same amount, so <laughs> we're fine. We're fine on the mealwood seeds. No, no, nothing to worry about as far as mealwoods is concerned. The fish will never go hungry, also. How's the plastic? We're still not finished with this. So close. Right, can they just not reach this? I don't think they can reach that. That's the problem. Yep, they just because they, they can't reach it. But we have enough plastic now. Which means I can turn this off as well. But that will be thrown be used for power now. Until we need it for fuel. Okay, this is actually getting warm enough that the brine is able to survive here now. But that's not good. Oh no, it's freezing. It's still getting colder. Oh, they can't reach this. That's the problem. It's that's that's what they can't reach. This right here. Herp -a derp. <laughs> that was getting high. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at the reach. I'm out of refined carbon, I think. That's why we're not making a lot of steel anymore. You can find refined carbon on my list. Never a good sign. Refined carbon. Never mind. We're good. Lime. Lime is the thing we're so, we're low on. It's lime. Oh god, yes. That would just blow. Imagine the explosion that would happen. That would be fantastic.
Just the construct. If it's gonna break, just the construct it. I'm thinking of putting some sleep wheat over here just to not sleep wheat, sorry, the Weez Wurts over here just to cool this area down a little on the side. This place is going to be completely full of fish at some point, right? It should be completely full. This motherfucker shell. Egg shell shell. I don't think I need this anymore. You'd be dumb to submerge the volcano in water. There you go. This is getting too toasty right now. Not not a fan. Guess it's time to dig this a little bit more. Leave more room for them to expand. Let's not dig the abyssalite. So that is keeping my base from burning. <laughs> That'd be great. You melted that too. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Let's make that a priority, please. Yeah, this is liquid lead right here, by the way, in case somebody's wondering. <laughs> yeah, let's not let that heat come into our base. It's okay to go down. Not up. <laughs> oh, that's toasty right there. I'm worried, but I'm worried. Let's be safe. <laughs> Let's really protect from this heat. <laughs> if I can. That is just way too much freaking heat. I and mean, if it goes down, that's fine. That's what that lava tube is kind of for. I 
Wait, it can still melt neutronium at some point. 9,000 Celsius. But it's never gonna get that hot, but it can. It's possible. Leave this be. This is not a priority at all. Oh, because it's because I built some things out of lead here because I wasn't very smart. It's just a liquid lead that I was using for uh, for rails. Totally normal. Because I wasn't thinking, you know. Okay, so I guess it might be time to maybe start venting some of this stuff out. Yeah, I think we might have reached a point where we have too much natural gas. Oh, oxygen is doing fantastic. <laughs> no worries about oxygen. Have like a pressure sensor to say stop venting natural gas at a certain point if I needed to. That's true. Like do a shut off valve like that. If if it's ever above eighty percent, vent off the excess. I'm taking this idea from Factoria. So do like a gas shut off, gas meter. Make turn gas flow off when the specific amount of gas has passed through it. Okay, that's not exactly what I was looking for. Draws the gas volume permitted through pipes, not what we're looking for either. Okay, so element sensor. Okay, so that checks how much is in there though. Yeah. Is there one that checks how much gas is in a in a in a container before? Like which one would I would I use for checking the amount of gas inside a inside a container? Because none of this seems to be what I was looking for. Controlling how much passes through a pipe is not the same as checking how much is in one. Yeah, I don't know if they have one for a container either. I gotta think about this for a second. I 
think this is it memory toggle what i can do is right so that it starts sending into uh, i'm going to do is to put a memory toggle and send gas up in one way and i'll set a timer and then the timer is going to go run for this amount of time so when that runs out it sends back a red signal down here that resets this clock so it does it in cycles instead of doing like non-stop so like this is gonna open the valve run it for a cycle or two turn it off send another signal that to close it wait a cycle or two then it goes another one and closes it back that might do it oh this would be fun this would be fun trying to figure this out and make it actually make it work oh boy I can't wait <laughs> I cannot wait to figure this out or I could just put a timer. <laughs> a timer might actually be easier. Yeah, just a, but just put a timer. Problem solved. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Well, yeah, I'll put an end gate so it only turns on when I, I want it to be on, too. Complex timer and gate prevent excess natural gas from blocking the entire system. Yep. Yeah, I still wanted to try and use the the, the memory toggle though, just for fun. Oh my god, I figured I, I got it, I got it. I know exactly how I'm gonna do this. This is one way, but I, I think I'm going to do is the memory toggle. Because think about this, I'm going to send some to detect the gas when it reaches the top of the base, because that is when you know he has enough gas out. Then it sends a signal all the way back down to say reset it. And it should only reset it back once the vent is completely empty. Once it's empty, it should send a signal back that resets the whole thing, so it doesn't send too much out. I mean, I think that's, that makes enough sense, right? So you should only vent the full pipe worth of it, not the whole thing. Oh, I gotta do this now. This is gonna be fun to figure this out. This is great. Oh, yes, yes. It, I mean, I could do quantum logic too, right? Like if you detect something in the distance, I can do spooky, spooky time at a distance. Do we have quantum gates in this or no? Seems like seeing a distributor. Nope, we don't have quantum gates. Unfortunate. <laughs> Aw, no quantum gates. No spooky, no spooky at a distance. Right, this is where it's gonna get fun. So I wanna... For now, I'm just gonna test it as it is, just to... See if this works for, just for now, just to empty whenever I need to. But I wanna eventually automate this all together. I mean, the timer is more than enough, but just set a very long timer for 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 red, and then a short time for green. This also works. It does the exact same thing. The whole memory filter here is just to make sure it only vents a certain amount. But doing this in, in stages is perfectly fine too.
1400 steel. Still need so much steel. I need to just let them accumulate all this steel while this, this is going. They haven't even finished this either. <laughs> it's just so much to do. Yeah, I'm just going to let them finish these this projects for now and then once this is all done, we'll, we'll think about doing more stuff. I just let them finish this project. I, I give them enough jobs for the day. <laughs> just let them finish. Yeah, don't need any of this stuff. I'm trying to steal food, but I'm not looking. I can see you on the camera. You can? No way. You want you want more treats? I can give you more treats, though. I know you're hungry. You poor baby. You never eat. Oh my god. Yeah, let's give you a treat then. There you go, Pickles. This is another one. I can't imagine why you're so uh, fluffy, Sprinkles. Is that the food? There we go. Just a little bit, okay? Not too much. You're gonna get food in a second here, too. Pickles, move on. Kitty. <laughs> Such a good kitty. I know I could have just put the wire directly into this, but you know what? It's fun to just use the complicated stuff for no reason. Got too cold again. Turn this on. Turn the heat on, please. Oh, and I give them these other jobs to do here too. There's plenty of them to do for them to do. Oh, did I mention that this is all, uh, that this is a steam vent? If I needed more steam, I could open this and cause this air to overheat like crazy. Okay, that's a steam vent. <laughs> like, nope, leave that closed. It's fine. But it's not food time. I know. I know. I'm probably really hungry. I know. I know. Okay, how about another hour and 40 minutes and you get food? I know you completely understand my language and the concept of time. Uh huh. Totally. Fisher, because we need more oil, right?
power is no longer an issue, apparently. Excellent. What? No. Got enough plastic. Why aren't you guys finishing this? This is holding everybody back. Yeah, finish this, please, if you can. There we go. That's all you have to do. Just like that, we have transit tubes. South and north. Much better. Wow. <laughs> He's gonna do this until he gets fed now until about 4 o'clock, so... Hope you guys are ready for some cat symphonies in two, for another two hours. We, we shall suffer the kitty meows. Making lime. Did you go to the bathroom, buddy? Th that's the meow that you do when you need to go to the bathroom. Let me let me put him to the bathroom. He's so scared of pickles because pickles has been fighting with him this whole last two weeks that he doesn't go to the bathroom by himself. So I need to take him. He's getting old and decrepit. Come on, buddy.
Kitties are happy. I have to watch them eat too, because otherwise they will eat each other's food. <laughs> and Sprinkles has to eat the food that is meant for him, and Pickles the one for eat meant for her, and so forth. Anybody die while I was gone? No, they're all alive. I haven't finished this yet. Copper. How's the project up here going? No progress. I guess I'll tell them to dig this so we can get this done. Just need repair. Make us a meteor hit over here. I did a little repairing one at a time. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess we're gonna need the ladders to finish this shit, won't they? The magic of two dimensions, we can build this. Oh, that's why they can't reach this. It's because of this. Derp. <laughs> that's probably why they can't finish this project, because they can't actually get there. There are times I question my <laughs> intelligence when I see stuff like that. I'm like, oh my god. Two tiles. Two tiles blocking the entire, entire thing. Oh, hey. We're starting to actually accumulate hydrogen. Fantastic. You're finishing this project. No worries. Welcome back.
How's the gate working? Haven't haven't finished building yet. I'm I'm gonna stop giving them orders until they finish everything that I told them to do. So they got a lot a lot of projects going on. So <laughs> I'm purpose not touching anything, letting them finish it. They seem to be doing a good job. So in the order of freezing, right, the water freezes first, then the polluted oxide water freezes next, then the brine freezes, and then the crude oil freezes, which is needs to be a negative 42, which this area has been getting cold enough that it can actually happen. <laughs> if you ever gets negative 42, the crude oil will actually freeze. But it's not quite cold enough. And here it is. If I let some of that leak over here, it would. Hmm. Here we go, another expansion project for them. Yeah, this is this is frozen CO2, you know, this is lead. Where's the frozen CO2? Here you go, liquefy. This is crude oil. This is crude oil in solid format. It's so cold that it actually freezes crude oil over here. If we just like a little bit at a time come in. No, just let the whole thing is fine. We'll, we'll be dripping here and freezing. Totally okay. Leon should be the one coming here anytime now. That one up there, to the left, that is uh, crude oil. Yeah, Leon's the one who loves to dig. He's like, yes, I get to dig. My my job is here. Yep, we have two of those. Because we definitely need more oil, right? Obviously. Clearly. <laughs> What's about has it been as with this asteroid you'd probably be able to actually freeze this core if you wanted to. I know, but do you see how much oil we created? This used to be empty. <laughs> and so much oil is being generated by that little single oil tap there. I don't think we need more. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, the air pockets are for me. Now I'm getting kind of tired of them not finishing this. Finish this, please. Guess we'll finish that in the morning. The refiner no, I I use the refinery on purpose. Uh, the oil because it, uh, if you use any other liquid, it will cause steam and explode. So I use the oil because the oil comes in cold enough, and it has a much higher uh, boiling point. So it's that's why I, I always use oil on the metal refinery. I'm I'm doing that already. Like the oil comes in here, 
checks for oil if it's not oil, send it back there for reuse of the base for some reason. And then the oil comes out in here. Immediately to the oil goes to the oil refinery. Turns into petroleum to be used for power. And then it spits out more no. Uh polluted water, because we need more polluted water, obviously. So we've been 30 seconds of natural gas every now and then. But also just realized that these tanks can be demolished too. water for lumber trees if you could just find them. Oh, I have some. I have some lumber trees, but what, what would I need the lumber trees for, though? Well, they finished this, at least. Yeah, those granite letters letters got melted down. It's too cold, too hot. Unless this is contained, I can ignore that altogether. Just hoard all the lumber if something needed lumber. All right. And just like that, we're venting natural gas into space in small amounts. Should not overwhelm the system. Matchling! Boink, boink, boink. Oh, <laughs> sleep time. done. Should have been finished a long time ago. Sprinkles is singing. He wants to come back here in the office. What? What are you doing to Sprinkles? Why is he crying? Down. Yeah. Pickles are just kind of driving you crazy. Yeah. 
I should just chill over there, okay? Yeah, there we go. Sprinkles needs to be more social, otherwise he's gonna go crazy again. Okay, buddy. Now we can start making frost buns, and then we can stop relying on eating uh, meal lice and eat some tasty, tasty frosty buns. Is everything planted and nice now? Yeah, everything is planted. Everything else from now on is just free food. Now, is there a meal that we can combine sleep with with fish? <laughs> and I think that's barbecue, right? Surf and turf in this game. I could technically deconstruct these and use it for something else. Wow, the mule is actually decomposing. You know, we have so much power. Why don't we just use a refrigerator to store the food? And actually do proper mule storage. <laughs> yeah, let's just store the meal. Uh, let's do somewhere fancy. Let's just put it up here. They only eat seeds and algae. Alright, looks like they finished this. Okay, so this is sp spelling all the excess air, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Fantastic. I should probably move this up a little too, because I want the air to be pulled out of here. I guess I don't have to move it. That's fine. Should work now. Fishies. I love it. Yeah, and all those like, shells would make lime so we can make more steel. So this is actually helping us make more steel, if you can believe it. All the shells would make lime, and then we need refined carbon. Refined carbon, make more steel. Can turn this off. I think it's hot enough over here. Yep, it is. The frost buns. What else do we have in here? I guess the cooked fish can go in there too. And barbecue.
Now what we can do is start doing all this rotting uh, uh, meal lice. It's filled to the poke shells because they will eat all the polluted dirt. And they will give us all this beautiful, beautiful shells. We can make even more lime out of it. So I might just open this so they can have an environment here that they love near the salt. And we'll just dump all the polluted dirt over here. Fantastic. I'm already thinking like a different one just to get rid of the, all the polluted dirt that keeps generating all this mess in the in the in the base. Although we're not gonna eat meal lice anymore. Now we have too much space for natural gas. Let's turn this off for a second. <laughs> what, buddy? This is the saddest meow. It's not the saddest meow, you know. What, oh, buddy? Why are you sad? You already got that dinner. Just chill, okay? You just want attention? I'll give you attention. Yeah. Hi. Oh. You got your coffee bed right there. Yeah. Okay, not that. Exercise. He's like pushing down. I was like, nope. <laughs> is this fun for you? Because you're purring as you're doing this. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> there we go. So they clean this up a little. Turn it off. Honestly, now that every project that I gave except this is done, Stud Under just finished this so we can go back to working on the surface again. Once and for all. Food time, buddy. Do you want just your toy? Here's your toy. You're gonna knock it off, right? <laughs> Leave it. There you go, buddy. I'm taking it back. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea that was should keep you entertained. Here you go, buddy. Gonna create a, a cat machine for you. Prepare to perpetual motion cat machine. <laughs> or is it gonna annoy you? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, we to get it started. Kill it, Sprinkles. Kill it, buddy. Oh, 
little bit more to the side. There we go. Like this. <laughs> Doesn't even care. Alright. Let's finally get start finishing the space project now. How's this going up here? They're working on it. This will start a steam. Let's leave the steel for now while we accumulate some steel. Yeah, we have no steel right now. This will eventually make sense once you guys see the whole thing finished. Probably doesn't make any sense right now. <laughs> Just like, I think so much abuse in this house. Fluffy boy. Maybe make more than one one guy making steel. Might speed this up a lot. Let's put a second refinery down. How much power does that take? All the way down. 1200. Yeah, I could put another one down. Yeah, it's kitty on the shelf. Mouse sprinkles, you just got food, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> He's just being dramatic. He had food, he went to the bathroom. He's just comfortable now. Do you want to put something so you can get down, just in case? Better put this chair over there so in case you want to come down, you can. It's just being dramatic. Right, Mr. Sprinkles? You're being dramatic. This first thing in the morning. If 
The next project will be to tame the poke shells to make more steel. On a limiting battery? I haven't needed it. I didn't need to. We're not making enough petroleum to, ju to justify it. But I probably should. Yeah, the batteries are never full. Like th This will stop. I guess I can limit that one too. That's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. A different type of wire because lead would just match too, too easily. There you go. Lots of oil petrol. Oh god, yes. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Just trying to get the rocket started. It's been a project for two days now. I guess I can say they want to always be, uh... The bottom one can always do iron, this one can always do steel, or I can just use all the steel I have for now. So I'm sure I have a lot of iron, don't I? Let me, let me double check here. How much iron do I have built? The big pool of oil below will soon freeze? I don't think it's gonna freeze, it's not cold enough down there. But that'd be fun if it did. Got 30 tons of iron. Yeah, let's just keep that here so we can keep an eye out how much iron and steel we have. For now, let's just make tons and tons of steel. So we can actually get the space thing going once and for all. This is already all filled up again. Yeah, God, this one has so much water. I'm like, this is excess water right now. Look at this, Hank. This is just water that is just being... I'm literally just chucking water out because I have nothing to do with the extra water. So much freaking water. That's what... That is with this many farms we going as well. I just, I don't know what to do with all this water. I am already have two uh, full-on oxidizers too. Bottom depot hasn't been, no, no, I know the, <laughs> you would think that this much pressure, it would break, but no, it doesn't. It doesn't break. This game is up to, there's realism up to a point on this game. <laughs> and this is a, a failed attempt at taming a volcano, so we're just closing that off for now. So we are now working on getting your space going. How the oxygen is even reaching up here already. Nice. Yeah, we'll have to close out this vacuum though. You 
germ free. I'm germ free. You're germ free. I'm germ free. That's like the conversation look like. That is vacuum right there, we gotta fix this. That's actually a really cheeky way for steamed on. For steam and to get iron at the same time, minus the lime. Use steam generators to pump water into the iron volcano and run the refineries at the same time. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is the only construction project I have left for them. So they should finish this soon, TM. <laughs> Give me some steel. Steel? No. I'll take barbecue. Start to get rock piles. Not not a fan of that. And the generators can use it into the rockets or vent it off. <laughs> can now just get rid of it. Into space. Oh, look at the natural gas is now completely full. There's no need to vent it. This is my venting thing. Never actually used this for anything yet. I'll use something for this later. There is clean enough that I can just vent it off. Let's turn this off. They're venting this stuff from down here. Looks like the water's freezing again. Good, good, good. Over here too. Oh, here's the 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 salt water's freezing over here. Perfect. So I don't have to worry about this ever overflowing because the oil we're using, everything else. What's this project up here? Still going. Yeah, because you guys opened the vacuum here. You gotta gotta finish this build. Yeah, I know you can't breathe in vacuum. I know. Keep using oil, it's the water and such we have to watch out for. I know, right? Think of all the water we're we're gonna run out to some ever and ever. <laughs> we're never gonna run out of water. It's actually literally impossible to run out of water in this map right now. Like you literally have to just dump it all into space if you wanna run out. It'd be the only way.
think that Gravita's main building is right here, right? I just haven't explored it yet. And there could still also be some more f good stuff over here that I haven't even explored yet. Not that we actually need it <laughs> or anything. I just want to get started on this rocket, damn it. Just wanted to f finish this. I'm going to divert the pipe from the filter. We'll max out. Divert pipe from filter. Okay, you lost me now, DTG. One thing I just realized I have to do is put like a little water drips here because to create steam here we're going to be slow drips. This is like the water and polluted water back to the base. Oh, that. Well, it immediately gets filtered so in, in, the, the reservoir never gets full. Yeah, see, it immediately gets filtered. It never sits here. And a liquid pipe near the refinery. Liquid pipe near the refinery. This one? This only filters petroleum. Everything else goes up. And it gets dumped over here to then get sent out where they need to go. Yeah. All I'm filtering out of this is the petroleum, so make sure that I never chuck petroleum- oh, not the other the other than petroleum in here. Sorry, not petroleum, oil. Petroleum is what you get after you refine it. A lot of iron, iron. No, we have still 28 tons. Just nobody's running these. Just had to complain. Ah, uh, we're also we're out of lime. Lime is the problem that we're not getting much of. It's the lime. Oh, I can. I just saw there's a search feature. <laughs> Derp. Yeah, limes is something we don't have a lot of. They're making it very slowly. I'm not a fan of the how cold it is. I mean, how warm it is in here. I'm gonna fix that. Hold down. Some wheeze words.
I should stop venting out this air out of here. And the stable food supply, let's say, get under pop to run the refineries. Just leave them there, doing nothing but spinning the wheels. Yeah, once, the, once those uh, sleet weed farms are going non-stop, it'll be fine. But I'm still having issues here, though. The water's getting too warm. That's not good. Well, some of it is not going to be warm and uh, cold enough. Whatever. It'll still grow. It'll just grow slower. See, this is gonna start cooling this area down a little again. That's good. It might be. Yep. Well, looks like we're actually running through our natural gas stockpiles now. Yeah, this is oxygen. Over here, this is all oxygen that we're just storing. But making making a dent on our natural gas re res reserves, finally. This is also all done. I can close, turn this off. Get some of this terrible gas out of here. Still only 29 kilograms. Yeah, steel is just so pathetic right now. Let's just start bringing out this horrible gas down as well, which is great. Should no longer float into our base. Still working on this. I should, yeah. 264 tons, I'm good. Just fine. Somebody probably just went into the volcano. That's probably what that scalding thing was. Because there's no other super hot area in the base. Oh, 
What about that one that I told them to dig? Why aren't you digging this? It's priority five. Next day then. Also got some Znazi suits here I could give them or cool vests. I think that's getting warm enough that I should start wearing. <laughs> Oof. Okay, this area is a little toasty. This team. Yeah, this this is the heat from this now. But yeah, don't no, you're talking about the heat from the volcano? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just sitting here. Oh, okay. It's actively trying to go down. Gotcha. Okay, plenty of food. Fantastic. Let's stop and letting them eat shitty food. Just eat the good stuff. Yeah, don't eat meat either. Okay, they're not. Okay, good. Um, it's kind of like a world bo uh, border. You can use it to generate extra minerals, but it's really not necessary. But yeah, the actual border is the neutronium here. You can actually just dunk a bunch of stuff here, but it's unnecessary. And there's the fact that there's a volcano here. I never want to care about this. Just leave it be. It's fine. Totally okay. You see the volcano there until now? Yeah. You could technically do this in little stages, like cutting off little pieces at a time, but you risk the, you risk the fact that the heat just expels all over your base and destroys everything, so I'd rather not risk that. This is perfectly fine. What are you doing over here? Nope, not even close. Get this done. Kind of tired, not just construction. This, this needs to get done now. Everybody, get, get started on this. Food can wait, pets can wait, get this done.
Yeah, this area here is calling. It's too hot. Because of the vacuum. That's yeah, so I'm getting to get this done. I just got tired of waiting for them to finish this. Just finish it. This is so off the no longer start no longer vent any air out of here Yes, this this is me slave driving them now to get, I can stop it. Let, let let them catch a break now. I think they might have been a bit much. This is still open to vacuum. Gotta be done. Yeah, it's here. It's the hot area. Ada, you are really hurt. How about we put you in, in the hospital right now? Oh, there's somebody there already. Oh, jeez. Alright. All right. Where's my doctor? Skills. Catalina. Where's Catalina? Put you on 
schedule priorities, doctor, for now. Doctoring. This is why nobody was doing this job, because it sucks to be here. It's real life, nobody wants to do shitty jobs. <laughs> I'm also kind of tired of seeing this little stupid container just sits over here. Is there a place to just canister empty here? Here we go. <laughs> this is silly. Ada, you might need to go to the bed, to the hostel bed and pretty soon. Alright, Ada. Let's see you now. Come in here. Yeah. You just chill there for a second. <laughs> How it goes the finishing up here? Nope, not even close. Oh, I know what I need to do is this. Or that can happen too. <laughs> and just put an extra drywall behind here so they can reach these tiles. Because that's the one where all the air is vacuuming out too. And they couldn't reach that until they uh, deconstruct these, so... Now that they can, it should be fine. Can't see that much steel. We have 900 kilograms of steel. And once they're once they're done finishing this little closed off over here, I'm gonna let them finish the steel the the steel part and just do no more no more orders until they're actually done with this. So the regolith here is melting the... It's breaking the damn thing. Because <laughs> the meter wasn't supposed to be here. Because they apparently refused to finish this. Stupid bunker. Thank you. There we go.
Oh no! Ruby's down! Ruby's down! Red alert! My god, dig this! It's emergency! Panic! Panic! Is anybody gonna come over and take him? Okay. <laughs> Ada, I think you need to get out of bed because somebody's... Actually, oh! Ruby, there we go. Let's get him. Everything's falling apart. Oh god, oh god. They're gonna be miserable for a few days. And nobody died. We're good. Uh, where's Ruby? Uh, Ruby's assigned. Yeah, look at that. He was at one hit point. Oof. Yeah, you just chill there for a second, buddy. My god, this again. Okay, we need to... We just need to put another bed. I don't care where now. I know you're a bad Ruby, but somebody else needs the bed. Somebody else is incapacitated. I know, I know. Who is who's incapacitated? Is it Leon? We'll put you back in a second, Leon. This would be a better project if I just had to use the suit here. Was the one that just got incapacitated again? Ada. Ada. Anybody? I'm coming, I'm coming, but I'm probably gonna get incapacitated too. You know, their switch station is just too hot and they can't get it done. Yep, you're right. I'm just deconstruct this so they, they don't go there anymore. Until we get it done. Oh, the duplicate died. Okay, I do not want. That's not gonna happen. 
No, 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 no deaths. No, 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 no. <laughs> we can go back. We can go back just a few a few days back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, what time is it now? 2.38. So I can go back five minutes. Already started this. Everything we started falling apart. No, that's not gonna happen. We can save this. They just wear a freaking suit and stop this total stupidity here. This is dumb. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna let the dupe die. Not at, not at how high level those guys are. No way. Uh uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Oh, this had already started falling apart here, but we're gonna. Just instead of 35. So you deconstruct this. Let's get this done correctly this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is seal this off and just have them come in through here. Instead of trying to build it from down here. I thought, I thought this was sealed off enough that it wasn't going to be a problem. But apparently it's not sealed off enough. So, Because then we'll just build this with a suit and oh, this, this whole problem is going to go away. There, at least it's sealed off now. There you go. Now we can get this done. Safely. We're going to go ahead and let them heal up a little. <laughs> yeah, because this got way out of hand way too quickly. What's the decor like in here too? Not not that great. Let's cheer them up a little. Okay, that is not that's not priority. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. That way we no longer have to deal with the other vacuum anymore either. We'll get this done. Just at our own pace now. They'll probably finish this too next. <laughs> Still probably gonna get a meteor and warm it up enough that it's gonna melt, but I don't care. Really don't care. Also gotta get this done very importantly, but let's let's save up on our steel now. I'm actually gonna do anything about this. I'm just putting this just for the sake of. I want the chlorine to just go that way. I don't want the chlorine to mix in here. Yeah, just up to here is fine. Let's 
matter of fact. Just went directly into the vacuum here. Do we need this at all? causing any problems. Yeah, let's just let it build up the steel now that we need. We, we, we're just gonna need so much steel to get, just get this finished once and for all. Steel's accumulating now. Good. Good. Every time the meteors goes away, I will begin the process here. Because they need to finish this. Just while we wait for this to get finished, just properly dig this. So they can get this finished first. <laughs> so it doesn't affect the base at all anymore. Take the joyous seeds. Little Wee's words are doing doing hard work here, but they did manage to call it down again. Fantastic. Yeah, it's not the only eating fancy food, not eating anything that's terrible. There, now we're, now we're building this sensically. Instead of nonsensically. Steam engine, you should delete these two. Beginning the rocket. <laughs> Finally, rain. Right? 
Oh, we need to generate this thing. A lot easier. <laughs> A lot easier now. Well, there's another another thing that I need to do here at some point is make another bathroom up here, because one of the big big time wasters people don't think about it when they're building their base is that they there's only one place they should go to the bathroom. There should be one near the bottom of the base and one at the very top if the temperatures are about the same. If it was of course if it was too hot or too cold, then no, they shouldn't let them use the bathroom in those super cold or warm areas. But if, now that the temperature is all pretty much even. It would make sense to leave a bathroom up here and one near the refinery so I don't have to go all the way back to the base just to use the bathroom. But that's another project I gotta think of too. <laughs> yeah, even showers. Oh, polluted wise actually completely froze here into blocks. Let's take that out. Could use all the fossil too for making more lime. Is it gotten cold? Oh, oh no. I think I just opened a heat transference here by accident. I did. Shoot! No! <laughs> okay, the mistakes were made over here. Emergency! Look at the sour gas immediately burning this area. Just a little bit of heat got transferred over here. Quick. Oof. That was a close one. I think I was watching it. Imagine if you just ignored that but for a second. That little bit of heat got in. That's how that's how much that would do. That much trouble. Cause all the sour gas. <laughs> that's the first thing I noticed. So the second you see there's sour gas, it's too hot. Yeah, it can be vented. But it should it should switch uh, go back to being crude oil pretty soon. I think that's just a uh, sour gas which is kind of liquefied back into uh, crude oil. Or not. No, never mind. It's fine, it's not a lot. Should be okay. Just gotta be more careful next time. At least the heat is contained. Yep. It's contained once again. Everything is fine. <laughs> totally not worried at all. Wait. Oh, I was about to say, entombed. Like, oh, it's just a building. Who cares?
I don't even bother putting this door here. I, I was, I'm not even thinking. Just get rid of it. Don't need this door over here. Oh my god. Forgetting this area is sealed. <laughs> it's fine. At least the fixing here is ridiculously fast. Just let them be. It's also a bit of gory time to have like jetpacks instead of having just the suits. I should have I should have made the jetpack station over here. But that's just gonna be way too long to get that because you need petroleum for that and I have to get that all the way over here. Or just use this little oil vent right here, but one thing at a time. Let let them finish this first. Can we like finish this stupid floor so we stop ignoring so we haven't having this issue here? Get the stupid floor done, please. <laughs> Hindsight, but it was probably a terrible idea to build this right on top of my base, but I could build it to the side and be perfectly fine. Some more steel, please. Need more steel. Is it going, Sprinkles? Sprinkles is like he has his mouth open and he's smelling the, sh the the bear. Does the bear smell that bad, Sprinkles? <laughs> There's like a, a stuffed bear up there. Good daddy bear. Which is the funniest face? Oh, the natural gas we thought we had so much of. It's draining pretty quickly now. Yeah, 31 cycles with no more, no more incoming natural gas. That's okay. Oof. Oof. This area here is toasty. I might actually consider putting some, uh... <laughs> put some wheeze warts around this area, too. Oh, I'm sure. 100%.
You know, but everyone will work on the oil generator. They're so excited to get this finished. Yeah, it's just 20 tons of regolith that is causing this to overheat. Rocket is done or the platform is done, then yes, we definitely need some more bathrooms around the place. Uh-huh. Absolutely. I want to let them finish this project first before they go anywhere else. You can see his sprinkles above above here. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's like right above the, the computer. Right, buddy? Sprinkles. <laughs> Good kitty. Alright. You should get a treat, Sprinkles. I can't imagine why you're slightly so fluffy. Because you get all the treats. You can get one too, Pickles. There's another one, Sprinkles. Oh, you guys can't even see him. Oh my god, the tragedy. That's it, okay? That's as much treat these guys are gonna get. <laughs> you wanna lick my finger? Okay, you can do that. Oh, he's super mischievous. <laughs> yeah, spit all over your face. There you go. You guys have been spoiled today, okay? Absolutely spoiled. Alright. That's it, Pickles. No more. Okay, no more. Yep, yeah, go on, Sprinkles. Go on, buddy. Go on. Go on. Go on. There's no more pickles, okay? I'm gonna be the one getting some food in a second. While they finish this. There she was stuck over there. That was the game calculating the pathing. Yeah, until we sweep this, there's no point in building this, uh, this things. Take the advantage while you can before they finish it. Is about to repair for now, so not wasting resources here. Too much petting. Too much petting. Yes, mom. Yeah, you're annoyed. Yeah, you're so annoyed. Oh my god. I can't imagine why you're so annoyed. Getting all the food? Yeah. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Oh my god, I'm petting you. It's the horrible thing. How about you go down now, huh? Nope, you're gonna go up. That's fine. <laughs> Just cats being cats. <laughs> uh, now you're just being playful, Sprinkles. You're being playful. Okay, we're gonna point up, see if we can get Sprinkles. Ha <laughs> ha 
my god, he caught that one. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Just yeeting stuff. Alright, Sprinkles, you had your fun, buddy. Regardless of your allergies, you love the playful cats? Yes. What would we do without cats? Probably have a much better life, right? <laughs> no, I love my kitties. Yeah, we're out of power. Oh, they finished? Oh, the rocket is, is going. <laughs> now priority needs to be the protection for them, so we're gonna, I don't have to keep repairing my rockets. And we need the gantry here as well. I forgot about that, because there's another thing that's going to require steel is the gantry. Hey, we have a bunker. Bunker doors. Yep, the dish to open and close. Yep, I'm aware. Oh, and we need power all the way up there, too. Oof, I'm not even close to getting launching this rocket today. It's gonna happen, though. I, I'm gonna try and launch this rocket today. Uh, you accumulate above the red line, so what I'm gonna be doing is opening and closing this and just put a uh, auto miners at the bottom to clean up the mass that drops. I'll put the rubble miner underneath here and I'll put you on the side to clean up the platform itself. That's the plan. One thing at a time. First, let's get the rocket <laughs> all ready and good to go. It's a big project. I burned. Uh, an uh, priority was all I took here. I have to get this done. Now, you used to be able to build... Uh, well, what I used to do terribly here was put an extra additional ladder so they can go above and walk over it But you never want to let them do that because they will get stuck there all the freaking time Never build above the third line from the top like don't let them go up ever If you do that, they will do so much stupid stuff. You don't believe it like in the middle of a uh, uh, meteor storm it would just be some idiots sitting there at the top so never let them get access to this top part Actually, I didn't even I probably should deconstruct these now that I think about it. <laughs> so they have no chance of ever getting up there. You gotta account for their stupidity all the time. Because <laughs> they happen and whack dead by meteor. Well, some of them got hit by like three meters and then didn't die, so. It takes like five meteors to kill one of these dupes. They're pretty resilient. Okay, it's priority nine now. Now, now we can. This can be a natural priority. Now, I'd like them to finish so we can start farming steam. Because we need we need a steam over here. We start dripping water here to create the steam too. Yeah, let's get that done. Start farming steam. We don't have steel. Okay, we need more steel because we don't. The, this thing is gonna be, need to be made out of steel to survive this, as well. This is hair should stop breaking now after this. Yes, 
Yes, and we need, we need a ton of steel now to finish the last part. I want to finish putting drywalls over here too and close this off all together. I don't think this actually needs to be uh, above the surface. This can easily be shut down. Once, once I get this finish, finishing building, I will close it off all together and just open up here again. But I do not want to open up all of this. What's that? Okay, so uh, this needs to be steam thing. If it's not steam, vent it off. Because I don't care if it's not steam. We are having power issues at the moment. I'm also gets maybe should get started building solar panels. I need to plan for that too. Uh, so we we're gonna need the telescope, obviously. Like somewhere around here. Breathing manually. What kind of question is that? That's weird. Breathing manually. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, can you explain a little better what you mean by that? You're making no sense, Swarm. Who are you talking about? Anytime because I'm finished this rock, it'd be great. Okay, next thing I want to do is bring power to those doors so we can actually open the doors. Otherwise, they open too slow. It's the melting point for these. Melting point. 660. Yeah, you can withstand. What about the regular conductive wires? 327. Yeah, I think I'd rather bring the conductive wires will do just fine.
Let's put this sweep over here so they can just bring the sweep over here. So bring it all the way down instead of using these. That's fine. <sighs> oh yeah, that we need the, the water valve here as well. Control how much water goes off. Look at valve. That is not a true priority. It's fine. Have to mark the material two and sweep only commands. Send it to that. Oh yeah, good call. I forgot the all stuff. Yep. Good call. There we go. Anything? <laughs> I think we're good on fish, right? For a while. They generate a lot of polluted dirt from eating all the... Okay, we're gonna start doing something about the polluted stuff. Yep, I'm gonna have to start thinking about that now. Something needs to start sweeping all the stuff. We're gonna, I'm gonna feed the poke shells. I'm gonna make a little dump for them so they can come all the way down there. Don't you dare go down there. Don't you dare. Yeah, we're gonna have something that brings out the other crap, the polluted dirt, rotted stuff here, because these things love it, they'll eat it. I can use the poke shells for making more lime. A nice little tube stop to the egg shell farm or that. How far can these things reach again? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so I need to do this a little more to the left. Just so they overlap just enough. One, two, three. So I need to overlap with this one. 
Perfect. There we go. Really sprinkles. <laughs> Jump on the right right time, buddy. <laughs> Jumped on my hand. Yeah, those sprinkles jump on the desk. Sprinkles. Okay, you're, now you're being annoying, buddy. Do you want to go up there? I can put you over there, okay? Come on. He just wanted to be there on the right side or left side, whatever. Yep. <laughs> you just want to chill there. So we're gonna give them all the crap that we don't need, like polluted dirt, rotted mule lice, rotted piles, can all go to him, to these guys right here. And we'll farm all these poker shells for more lime. That's the plan. So come in this way, we need to send in rotted stuff. This is a perfect spot because they can send all the food that gets over here and they will auto feed any rotted stuff there. Perfect. They live off of any air? Now we can make a vacuum too. Oh, they, 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 they're they just fine over there in the salt. They can breathe over here. They're fine. They're just very violent, so you do not want to mess with them. They will kill you. <laughs> they're extremely violent. to do is bring power to all this mess. What's 
the Chibo just got? Block a meteor from hitting your base using a bunker door. Yep. <laughs> Guess we know what's happening up there. Of them watching them spit out of these. It's the funniest shit. Give them additional options so they can come out here if they need to. Feed that. I'll just wait for them to finish. I'll take more joyous seats. Those are helpful. Yeah, out of three sleep wheats, we grew an entire farm that is feeding our entire colony now. Totally fine. I'm also gonna put a sweeper here so that all the food that they cook just gets delivered automatically to the fridge. Is that too lazy? <laughs> or efficient? You always worry about setting the buns to cook forever in case the wheat seeds don't get replanted. As long as it's at this priority 9, they always do the closest task first, so they should never run out. Should be fine. Yeah, that's what I have them set to, to forever. They're just fine. How's it up there looking right now? Yeah, see that's what's gonna happen until you actually get this whole thing task finished. like 18 different projects going on right now <laughs> one of them we're gonna finish and that is this one I want to finish this it is the only one who can build the conveyor rails because she's the only one with mechatronics so she has to be the one that does this in there Ada almost done The plastic ones, they can come out of here much faster. They have to go all the way around. Should be able to just get out of over here. Thank you. Yeah, because you can still put exits on these, right? Even if you don't have a 
an exit porch. They can still be yeeted out of the tube, but there. You're gonna sit and get they're used they're gonna start using this one now. Because they have a project to do over here. We'll do that in the morning so you can see it. They'll, they'll definitely use it. Yeah, they're gonna love all the polluted dirt we're gonna dump for them over there. Any rotten pile, they'll eat it. <laughs> they love everything. Yeah, polluted dirt, rock pile. <laughs> and they excrete sand. That's something else we can use too, the sand. So we don't have to worry about ever running out of uh, filter materials. Infinite sand from these guys. Just get this done, please. Did they do like half assed Just finish the damn thing. Shell melt should have been there, shouldn't it? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I can go sand. There you go, focus shell. Oh, that filled up quickly. <laughs> and it's obviously not correct because they're not going anywhere. And this should have been going. Why are you not going? Did they finish this? They did not finish this. That's why. It's a morning project. <laughs> you think they would have finished this thing that's right on top of their base, but yeah. Anytime now. Gotta get the dancing in the morning, you know? Gotta, <laughs> gotta get that excitement early in the morning. There we go. 
No, I should start arriving. All the sand, the sand and focus shell we ever need. Perfect. Look at that. Amazing. And now we need to send here is the rod and pios. Rod pios. And polluted dirt. If somebody wants to use it, dump it there by all means. don't even eat these farms anymore right and that we're growing off of this even though this is kind of sketchy right now but just leave it be for now You're perfectly fine it should yeah it should take place different storage container you put a, a sweep there it should What I could do is one of those uh, Roombas here <laughs> to clean up this and open this door and put the sweep so that they, you know, clean automatically by bots. <laughs> That's the thing I could do too, but... Uh, the only reason I did this whole project here is because I need more lime so we can finally get more steel because I want to I wanna launch at least one rocket. But we can't even do that because our steel is barely accumulating. Uh, something else we need here is start getting the steam going, which hasn't even started yet. We can't reach this because we don't have the range. This is not finished yet. Just finish this. Gotta get the whole rocket thing set up. Once and for all. Careful sip only goes up to the rocket if you left it on all. Oh yeah. That's fine, it's already full. It's fine. Or you about to sweep it down there. I, I said it to only get sand in Poké Shell. We're talking about the one back at the base.
Oh, and before we can even go to the storm, we need to build the, the telescope first, which I completely forgot. Telescope. Where are you, telescope? Telescope. Is it a chilies? No, telescope right there. Somebody's stuck. If they made a mess, it means they can't use the bathroom, so they're stuck somewhere. Where are you stuck? You're not stuck. Just took a while to get back. Okay. That's all good. Right there, so it needs, needs floor and those... Right underneath it. Okay. Oh, up here. Yeah, no. I see what you mean, yeah. It's only stuff that I tell, it's sweep only, so it's fine. Speaking of it, they're full. Guys love to dig. Dig, dig, dig. They don't eat it. It's their pastime. sweep this whole thing first. Alright, because the next day I'm just gonna tell them to finish this up, sweep this up as quickly as can, finish building this, and we can finally get finished on this damn rocket. And we're once again out of steel. <laughs> Come on, give me steel. Like a thousand tons of steel. Nope. It's just been sitting here forever. Just needs to be cleared out of there.
they would love they love eating the fluted dirt. Fantastic. <laughs> Solar panels work the same way, get light in, those doors close, they stop getting sunlight. Yes! Solar panels and then we'll build it much later. When we start getting serious power issues. Right now we don't have any serious power issues. Power is kinda of sketchy still. But it's not serious right now. Once we find the right balance for the natural gas, then we can start worrying about solar panels. We need another kickstart on the power again. Power is struggling. They're still using the old wires. This is a random heavy watt wire stayed in the middle of the base too. Awesome. Get it emptied out for the next next wave of natural gas. Okay, that's all we have left here is this. And while there's all this natural gas just sitting in the atmosphere here, no kitty is. How does it go up here? We're done this yet? Nope. They finished the rocket? I mean, the rocket is built. Now they actually have to get it working. Not out of copper, this would just melt to be out of steel. Which we have nothing of. Awesome. Now this really uh, hot stuff, I want to leave this here because once I start dropping water, this is the stuff that I want to evaporate and turn into steam, so. This would be my source of steam here, but I, I need to, they need to finish this. All these buildings, they just never finish. <laughs> finish the damn buildings.
I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna grab a bowl of cereal while I wait for this to finish. Severe meter connects with the mission grid to automatically turn material transfer of one the specified amount has passed through it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this is regular wires. Yeah, it's barely using any any power at all. Yep. No power at all. There we go. Out of delivery of food from there to there. <laughs> Just get the stuff out of here too. Thank you. Out of stores, so the food is never run by the kitchen, right? Just out of the liver to the where it needs to go. Perfect. I could technically put the same thing over here to pick, collect all this food from the farms, but that's fine. That will save my dupes, like a lot of a lot of work from my dupes. Oh, it does! It does auto star. The auto super does it. The auto star. If I drop it here, this auto super will pick up from the floor and drop it in the, on the refrigerator. They do auto star. <laughs> it's not only they do it. <laughs> uh. Should raise the decor here a little bit more. This this room. You know, be as happy as they possibly can. Oh, I can't because there's no more room to build here. Huh? Never mind. Yep. You, see, you just saw them do it. They finish building. They drop it here. Drops off. This guy picks it up. Puts it on the fridge. They just did it. Like it literally just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum laziness, yes.
much pressure in here? Vacuum. Wow. Accidental vacuum got created here. What is this? I didn't even say this geyser this whole time. What is this one? Did we, have I already looked at it? I must have. Let's see. What is it? Oh, this is a CO2 geyser. I remember. It's another CO2. Because we need more more CO2 in this in this place, right? Just a little bit of heat that escaped here didn't really destroy the entire base, just a little part. Oh, it's getting a little cozy in here. I feel like I need to put a reservoir for the stuff that comes out of here because they're always running out. They're having issues storing the liquid because they need to rely on somebody storing this one. I think I'm gonna put uh, four reservoirs that store the liquid out of here. But then they're gonna be made out of steel because they're super hot as well, so. <laughs> Yet another problem. Actually, what is the melting point? Because these are made out of gold. Oh, they melt at a thousand. Okay. They can be made, they can be made out of gold, then that's fine. Totally fine. Just inefficient here the way that I built this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this low steel production is what's holding everything back for the rocket. So if we can get this built quicker, fantastic. That makes so much more sense now. Made out of gold is just a flex. Yep. That additional 50 Celsius, right? Just just for just for a little bit. <laughs> Instead of 1013, it's 1063. Yeah. Is this one not empty? Oh, nobody's working there. Still got a ton of iron.
Honestly, this is getting old. Just deconstruct that. Liquids are so weird in this game. <laughs> oh good, more freezing stuff over here. Perfect. Fantastic. Can always use more freezing areas. That however is not where I wanted that to go, but that's okay. I don't know how crude oil got over here, but... <laughs> Everything is fine. We have like 600 to just sitting here, but yet they're, they can't finish this stuff up there. I don't think I have any, any other more building tasks. I think they finish everything I give them now. Let me, let me double check. They finish everything here, they finish this, they finish that. We're doing some farm jobs. How about up here? How is this up here going? Basically nothing got done. <laughs> Alright, now that it's clean, right? No, it's still here. There's still some stuff. Is it this thing that keeps spitting regolith over here? Yep. It's this jerk. I wanted to actually finish this so I can actually start using the steel for the stuff I want to use, you know, the air and all that. Right, 
who is our best cook? Let's put most of my should be dedicated to cooking all the time. Mr. Like it's Otto. You can do the cooking. Never to worry about food again. <laughs> they need to finish this. Praying out loud. So, finish this. Oxygen reservoirs for empty out fast. What oxygen reservoirs? They're full. Perfectly full. We're talking about up here? Oh, up here. This is hydrogen. What oxygen reservoirs? PTG. This is natural gas. On the side, this, this is oxygen right here. Completely full. This is meant to be for hydrogen, but it's not really filling up at all. This up here on the right, um, this, I'm gonna I'm gonna store steam over here. Which now that I think about it, this should be made out of. Uh, this should be made out of steel. Crap. Yeah, now this is gonna be used to store steam. Not enough steel. I haven't even started to work on the opening of that too. Well, while they finish sweeping this this mess, I'm gonna grab some food. I'll leave this running here, you guys can watch it. We're right back. Oh my god, right here.
<laughs> I was like, by the time I get back, it'll be done. Nope, not even close. How's steel? <laughs> Zero. Which freaking Rickleth is in here? Three tons. That explains a lot. I'm gonna mute the microphone while I eat. But oh, oh, the game is gonna keep going, of course.
Yeah, I'm noticing that not a single one of them will come here to do the, the steel. And that's what's killing us, because we need all that steel to get the whole project going, but the steel is punishing right now. Oh, and this is not even being... Oh my god, this poker shell here just sitting here. Alright, oh. guess I'll be right back. Gotta think this stuff downstairs. Yeah, hopefully somebody's gonna make more iron, I mean more steel here at some point. Yep, be right back. And you still accumulate it all. Nope, no still accumulation at all. <clears throat> yeah, well, why are we having such a hard time with steel? Yep, and any animal byproduct can become lime the shells or the poke shell mouths. Moats? Poke shell moats? Yep, yep, yep. This annoying, annoying bug.
I don't think he's trolling me now. want to do this but would be worthwhile to send the lime down there instead of waiting for them to take it over there that might not be a bad idea yeah maybe they're just too lazy to bring it all the way down there they have to, yeah there's 200 kilograms of lime just sitting here that could be the reason do the same thing here, but I just have a send it all the way there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's do it. Let's go to drop it here. To reach then, right? No, not like that. Yeah, that's probably what the, what the reason is. This should this should fix it. <laughs> Thanks for the help from here to there. Appreciate the long help there. <laughs> Definitely working on that line though. Let's see. No. Industrial ingredient? No. I just have to actually finish building it, right? Unless they started on the rails, sort of. Yeah, they built some of it. Yeah, it's gonna be a much shorter trip. Just dump it right on top of it. Remember a time where we, we, we were worried about water? 
Those were the times. <laughs> that was a good time. The toastiness here is contained. Hmm. I can fix this too. Oh, I can't plant. Oh, I can. Just need a word seed. Okay. Just gonna coil down one of these. Now we can finally get this going. A little, little lower than that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's already in the spot that I wanted. Here's just sloppy. Then they'll complain about it, it's reaching the tube, right? Then the long commutes don't show up anymore. So that's cool. Because of the tube. about the cooked fish. Yeah, that needs to be delivered as well. Yeah, see, they start. They start the cooked fish. <laughs> so convenient. Eventually, I want to put one of these. Once we have, once our power is solar, we have a lot of storage. I can start sweeping the meal farms. Because this, they take a lot of time off of their hands too.
Yep. So just have to feed the steam directly into the rocket here until we have the containers, which I don't. But please, let's just start filling this. It's getting old. Wait a minute, I gotta fit... <laughs> um, I just realized I was fitting, filling, fitting in the wrong one. I need the steam that needs to go there. Not the chlorine. Yeah, it's the steam that needs to go there. Cancel this. Oops. That could have been bad really quick. Yeah, finish this one. Now we gotta wait for the water to get up here, right? Because it didn't have an output, but now sh there you go. Now it has one. So now the water has a reason to come this way. So the water will drip here and immediately melt. Let's see, or not, uh, evaporate. See? Look at that! Steam! <laughs> and if I ever think it's too much, I can set this to zero. But hey! Steam! <laughs> Easy steam. And th that's what I was going for. Also get rid of all that excess water, too. That mission looks cool. Yeah, this rocks here sitting at 200 Celsius. Yeah, that can easily steam up that little drips of water. Now all we gotta do is save up 400 steel so we can actually finally pick a destination to go. So somebody can be brave enough to go. Lithuanian, no, not Geogaster. How's it going, Dutchie? Did you just come here on Mondays just for the Geogaster? We should, we should be up, it should be coming up pretty soon. <laughs> Lithuania. <laughs> I am okay with this. Unless you might think here, but this might not last long enough, then... Yep, I'm aware, DTG. I'm aware. There's all the power energy connected all the way up there still. How much power does things take? 120. Perfect. So I can use up this one.
Well, let's not make that out of lead, because that would be a terrible idea. Let's see if out of gold. One, two, three, four, five. That's 600. So, so 960. Still got another 1,000 power we can use. I also needed the rubble diggers to clean this up as well. Rubble miners, rubble diggers, they dig. They, they, do, they do the digging. It's like Thurston Waffles. Why didn't you just use the bathroom? Are the bathrooms having issues again? Why are you peeing in your suit? You weirdo. Are the bathrooms having issues? Nope, oh, bathrooms are perfectly fine. Just being a weirdo. I got interested this mute it so you guys don't hear it. Oh what? What if Daddy doesn't want to? <laughs> That's adorable. I love it. Good kitty. All we need is nice 400 kilograms of steel. Oh, I have seen the automation wires there, don't we? One thing at a time, I suppose. Let's see how the steel production is going down there now that we have the lime auto auto delivering. Oh, they haven't finished this yet either. It's off by one. Of course, it's off by one.
Yeah, this this things here could probably be improved somehow. Might have to improve this at some point. Like this is not its full potential. That's the meme video. Oh my god. Oh, I've seen- oh my god, that one. <laughs> I've seen that one too. Very cute. That was, a, that was a very loud noise, I'm sorry. Should have warned us that it was, that was loud noises on that one. Touchy. Now it's more power. Natural gas is down to these. <laughs> down to six. Then there are six. Long before the next eruption here. Oh, but it's active right now. Well, natural gas should start spouting any time now. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Perhaps in 16 seconds. Yeah, by removing some of this uh, harvesting tasks, this will expedite the whole what well, the other jobs they can do because that's what they're wasting time on you know, is pulling out these men, uh, menial tasks. This is the delivery of food from the kitchen to the fridge is no longer a task they need to worry about. Pretty soon, this will be another task they don't need to worry about. I think this, I think it's, uh, I just had an idea here, instead of this one being, because how much power is going to be each of these, because the, let's see, on, that's 120, 120, so that's 8 of those, 8 times 120, that's 800 plus 160, so 960, so I can, I can just do a little bit, because these are going to be so invariably used, I'm actually going to set this to just a little hamster bike that stores power, somebody comes in here and stores it. Because this is so unnecessary. Yeah, a simple bike should be enough over here. This would save us so much freaking time.
Yeah, this will be its own power grid. I don't, I don't want to mix it, the rest of the group. No, just sleep leech. Oh, it's cooking ingredient. Yeah, somebody runs this bike for a little bit, stores this full thing of power, then we're good to go. Because <laughs> this is only going to be used so very rarely. But one bike running runs, cleans up the whole farm. Look at that! Wonder bars. Oh, that is if they finish this, that would have been great. be more than enough now for a very long time. Beautiful. I can just pick up the phosphorite over here too, just get this stuff out of here. Amazing. I'll put this over here too. <laughs> clean some of these rock piles. Yeah, just clean this mess, right? Look how much easier this is. <laughs> oh, you would not be able to reach everything. Oh, that does not bring joy. What if, if I put one here? Can this reach? Almost everything. Then we'll have a place to unload. This one's gonna have to be done by hand. Unless I put it on the stairs, then I'll make that entrance here. There we go. We're making ways to let our dupes be lazy. That's wonderful. Why am I even moving this? I don't need to. All right, because it can come in. Because I'm gonna, I'm about to take out the stairs, right? But then they won't be able to get down here anyway, because they need to fertilize. If we just extend this by one and put the sweepers here on the left, how far would that reach? Not that far.
his mouth to make it work the way we hoped. Yep. Oh, this, this has been taken care of, right? That's good. This, this is the gross will just be delivered to the kitchen. And from the kitchen, directly to the, the oven, once food is done, from there, directly there. Beautiful. Yeah, let's see. 274 sleep wheat grain just sitting here on the floor, on the ground. Sorry. That's three stacks of those. <laughs> so there's over 400 sleep wheat grains just sitting there. And if you let them rot, they get sent over to poke shells. I guess I could tell the the farm, the poke shell farm here. If there's any, if they die, I can use their meat. Yeah, get more lime. So it's beautiful. How's there? Oh, we have steel. Right, awesome. Let's get this done once and for all. Stations. Telescope. Made that a steel. How are we ever gonna prioritize that? And this. Can you reach there? Oh. Unfortunate. So we need another one. Okay, let's not make it out of lead. <laughs> Jesus. Gold is fine. Is this taking is it two by four or is it a it is a two by four? This might have to be made out of, out of steel as well. It does because it all the uh, really warm rocks that kind of fall down. Yep. Now, normally I would hook this directly to the doors so that it auto closes and opens whenever there's store, uh, rocks coming. But that eats a lot of power. So I'm just going to put it on a switch. I can turn it open and close when I want to. This is just more to protect the scientist than anything. Does. It's still gonna warn me, but but this is just more to auto close it because I I don't want to have to keep coming back and forth. For this one, sure, I'll open and close because I don't care about the the rocks landing down here because this would just help generate more steam, which is still generating, by the way. It's a very long time to generate this steam, but hey, this is a very simple system that doesn't require that much effort. It's 
not waste the steel over here. Now that I think about it, don't need to. Just close it. Last but not least, we need an atmosphere suit. It's like the same thing. Okay. Unreachable. Oh, that's right. You can't reach that. Crap. So quite be finishing because they can't reach it. Then them. Derp 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 derp. Probably won't be able to reach that one either. Let's do this. <laughs> but that was missing something. And get this started. Oh, <laughs> helps if I plug power in that shit, doesn't it? Derp. Derp, 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 derp. So I said I was going to do the switch over here for that, just for these. This I gotta make a steel because the rocket's gotta go flying through this, so this needs to be made out of steel. Does it melt the cables when it, when it passes by? You're probably still gonna melt it, in all fairness, but... Let's see what the boiling point is for that steel. Automation wire properties. 
Okay, 2400. That might survive the rocket launch. Hopefully. Almost there. The steel melt. This, uh, <laughs> Jeff Hughes melt steel beams. Is that what you're going for? I was waiting for somebody to make that comment. <laughs> I don't know. It probably will. Petroleum. I need oxygen in there too. Forgot I need oxygen in there. Uh, this needs to be inverted. Thank you for the raid. What were you guys playing today? That was weird. It didn't show up on chat. It normally shows up in chat. Let me refresh the page here. That was weird. Hello, hello. Not sir, but I'm doing okay. How are you? Yes, it is. All the emotes on the channel are pretty much based on sprinkles and pickles who's sleeping over here, but yeah. Five cats? Oh my god, that's too much for me. Two cats is already too much for me. Five cats, holy crap.
You hear emotes too? Nice. Got out of steel too. Zero pieces of intact furniture. Sounds about right. Oh, this is cold damage. Interesting. Okay, no. I've always sent this team there. Not out. Thank you. I guess that's a great spot to sleep, I suppose. Is that a spacesuit? Completely understand. You keep anything from overheating outer space? Build stuff out of steel. Yeah, just build stuff out of steel and they'll be fine. Space is very chill. Yeah, but, but, but Castillo has an extra 200 heat, heating, uh, heating resistance. So stuff here that's built out of steel should survive. Let's see, melting point, 2,400. Okay, this one doesn't matter, but... For stainless stuff like gas pump. Did they change this so they last more? Yeah, because 190 Celsius, but... Uh, it used to be br start breaking at 200 Celsius, but unless it's 2,426, I guess they changed that for steel. They must have changed it. But yeah, I built this out of steel. I'm gonna put solar panels on this side, but it's a story for another day. Gonna finish this soon. Close the rocket. Nope, they're just ignoring it. Cool. I don't have an atmos suit there. Alright, so wh which one of my dupes we're gonna send into space? Ah, looks like Ada, you are going to space. Yep, Ada makes the most sense. Oh, not yet, because we don't have enough steam here yet. We need a thousand steam here. And this is a very slow process. Filling it up with steam.
Yep, I'm guessing the natural gas geyser is kicking in again. Because <laughs> there's natural gas coming in. Yep, 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 yep. Which means hopefully hydrogen should at some point start to accumulate again. Our guests getting formed here. Beautiful. Oh, the water's getting frozen. Amazing. How's the volcano doing? Still as disappointing as ever. Wow, this got hot enough that it actually turned into steel. The iron. Does it actually do that? If you hit the iron long enough, it becomes steel? In this game at least. Don't think that's how that works. Maybe it's just the steel that fell from this uh, deconstructions. That'd be ridiculous if that worked. <laughs> just check the iron the volcano, turn it into steel, grab the steel. Probably the construction, yeah. So that is happy. Does it ever stop freaking meteor showers? Oh my god. It's been going for like days now. Yeah, I guess so. Let's get it done.
Right. So next thing I want to do is make a bathroom up here. So when they come up here, they have a bathroom. <laughs> so I don't have to go all the way back home to go to the bathroom. It's still water, right? It's still steam. <laughs> so that works. Still going. It's been going for like three days now. Oh, that was the quickest hypothermia cure I've ever seen. very slow steam production but all it's taking me it's 120 right or 240 power that's it <laughs> totally worth it even though it's super slow and the best thing is once we launch rockets because the steam is gonna stay in this environment then you can just reuse it and this is where the containers are gonna come in handy which I probably should be building those while I wait for this yeah There we go. So we have a carbon asteroid? What about this one?
hottest. It's, it's barely even touching in. It was another meteor shower. <laughs> Starting to wonder if we're ever going to be able to launch a rocket with this many rocks coming all the time. But now what I'm doing now is waiting for the rocket to be filled and we can go. Because we have a destination now, right? We're going to go just do some research here. Destination set. I think I need to first pick the astronaut before I go. Oh, he doesn't have an atmosphere either, but usually when they go in there, it counts as having atmosphere in the astronaut, so. A little bit more water because it's taking too long. Doesn't need to be built at all. It's always silly that it needs to be inverted <laughs> to check if there's asteroids close or leave it open if there's no asteroids rather. Gold, two tons of gold, sure. No problem.
about half hour we're gonna switch over to some uh, geogaster by the way just a heads up I'm hoping that we get to finish the launch of the rocket at least today let's launch our first rocket let's go find find where we are in the world I like they break the balloon and just park it outside. Alright, it's half full. 500 kilograms of steam. Explore a little here. Oh. Liam's probably on his way here to dig, because that's his thing. He loves to dig. Yep, there he is. Pretty in Zen mode. Just CO2, yep. gas starting to fill up again. Because I don't have to worry about venting the natural gas again because there's plenty of room. But if I need it, I can always vent it. It's starting to get really toasty. Finally getting magma. It's happening and it's it's done. <laughs> so disappointing. Some liquid iron immediately melts or solidifies, I suppose. 
Yeah, so when I first had built this, I thought the magma was gonna fall all the way down, right? And it's gonna liquefy, I mean, uh, solidify when it gets to the bottom here, but... Never, never even made it past this platform yet. <laughs> this is a little chew overkill. But then somebody's sending on balloons to everybody. They all seem pretty happy. Maybe the areas that they frequent the most should probably put more decoration around so they're affected by the horrible decor. This area's gotta be terrible for decor. Oh god, yes. Oof. Oh, that. Reservoir has another, another plus 10 also that that's countering out the horribleness of this place. Mm -hmm. One painting, that's it. As much as they're gonna get. Don't have to worry about the accumulating water because it's all freezing. Perfect. <laughs> the oil completely solidified back over here. How's their steam up there doing? Six hundred and fifty. Still need more steam. And next thing I want to do after we launch the rocket, probably the next time I play this, will be to set up solar panels, either east or west of here. Plan your room. Can hook up to the same thing that is connected to the this so they don't get hurt. Probably cover them in uh, mesh tiles. So we're not gonna need glass, right? Oh, what we're waiting for this might as well start setting that up. Let's build a glass refinery. Glass forge, whatever they call it. As good a spot as any.
Wait, this is out. Actually, even better, instead of dumping here, does dump down there where there's all this super, super cold stuff. You just dump it down there, right? It's gonna, oh, and that might create sour gas. No, just dump it here. Let's not, let's not risk it. It's fine over here. Wait, this is mesh tile. <laughs> that that would have been bad. If I didn't catch that. Should instantly cool uh, cool down. Switch over to Geogaster in about 15 minutes. For anybody who's waiting for that. Usually we do that every Monday now. Where's the berry? Sure. No, oh, <laughs> look at the autos giving balloons to everybody. Oh, that was cute. Friend loves to cook all day. Yeah, I don't think I even need to weed worry about this not fully growing here on the right side at all. <laughs> See how much sleep weed we have over here? Yeah, look at that, like, <laughs> over 500 sleep weed just sitting there forever. Is there like some fancy stuff you can cook too with natural gas on the on the gas range? That requires natural gas, which now are actually becoming an endangered resource. <laughs> so let's not, let's not even bother. They're, they're happy, they're fine. It's okay. It's all good. How's this team doing? 773. Still not enough. Yeah, 
Maybe I should put a secondary vent of gas pump over here. How about I put a second one? Because there's got to be still steam in the air. Yep, there is. It wasn't that much waste, though. We invented like just six, uh, six iterations of it. It's fine. <laughs> Not a big deal at all. We'll rec recover that pretty soon. Especially since now it's erupting again. It's all good. Oh. Oh, hi. I think a good less than a thousand steam, 700 would be enough. Let's find out. I need to put the rubber miners here at some point too, but it's fine for now. To 50 grams of water. Yeah, I want to at least launch a rocket today before we switch over to geogas. <laughs> we gotta launch at least a rocket. I ate it. Get in there. But of course that needs power. Why would I not remember that? Again, it needs power to, to move. <laughs> oh, did you do a wait for the steam anyway? Yeah, 150 more steam. No, more meteors. We had them no power, they, they, op they close much slower. It's definitely not the time. Close slower. There we go. Ada, 
Dim rocket, gotta go. I know, right? Just doing everything possible to stop me. Ever says eight is because one is in the rocket. And maybe now she should go in the rocket now. Nope, she came back again. Still getting overheat damage. God damn it. I need a sweeper up here to, just to clean that up. Come on, Ada, get in the rocket. You can reach it, just get in the damn rocket. That's obviously more important than taking a space mission, it's running the hamster wheels. Uh-huh. Hey, here we go. He's <laughs> in the rocket. Alright chat, finally, we get to launch it. Gain 3 off. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. What a time to be alive. Now, no destination selected. Uh, excuse me. Launch mission. Achievement earned. Space race, launch your first rocket into space. Uh. Victory! Something got damaged. <laughs> the gantry got broken. Oh, it's the heat. It's got too it got too hot over here. I it was retracted. The gantry was retracted. We cannot move any further than this. It stays. That's as far as it back. It goes back. <laughs> Can't really retract it any further. It doesn't normally break, which is weird. 
Hey, we launched the rocket. So what it happens now is the rocket will take a little longer to get there. And they'll start bringing the research over it, right? No, not space out. This is just a just a base game. I haven't, I haven't finished the base game yet, which I want to finish before I, I go into spaced out. This one is looking very promising. So it's gonna happen. Made of steel. I mean, there's not nowhere else, nothing else to get made of. Hey, mission achieved. So we're gonna launch the rocket today, and we did. We launched. Oh, just hope the rocket doesn't come back. <laughs> oh, it's broken. Yeah. Well, I don't want it to disappear. I want this. I want to recollect the steam. So that's what I you see. Look at that. I was able to recapture <laughs> 150 kilograms of steam already just from that rocket launch. That's the goal. Like to re I actually purposely built those tiles so that the the vacuum stays there. I mean, besides now, steel is only gonna be used to repair stuff. So it's fine if it breaks down. Closer on the rocket exhaust. That that was the point, but I <laughs> was trying to do that, but didn't finish the the whole thing because I just wanted to launch a rocket before I finished the whole thing. But that was the goal originally. <laughs> So I'm making steam out of the water drippings into the surface because it's so hot in here. Might, might as well use it for something, right? Okay. But yeah, the second this rocket lands, we can switch over to some geogaster because it's Monday. That's what we do on Mondays. Very unusual. Brief meteor shower. Yeah. Maybe we'll come back. We'll bring some uh, space research. With this, no, this rocket mission is what's going to give us the science to actually finish the research three because <laughs> now technically we can just keep sending the same mission over and over and over getting as much science as needed and then we can finish and get everything we need to properly finish the game but that's ways away probably not gonna happen today obviously <laughs> or not this week either i'm actually considering if thursday maybe i should play some uh stellar since there's the new patch coming out on Thursday. I do think sprinkles. Big yawn. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed, buddy. Agreed. Yeah, we didn't even, didn't, I didn't even finish exploring this whole place. Oh, there's the Gravitas. The the lobby.
and technically over here you can actually just completely uh, demolish this because once the rocket launches this thing it stays stuck to the walls like you can technically disable destroy this if you need this steel for whatever reason but I'm not gonna bother it's kind of cheesy unnecessary I think we're okay on food, right? <laughs> My god. 154 tons. No, kilo calories, not tons. Of frost wheat, of frost buns. That's a lot of buns. Uh, the first few rockets, you can only reach like the first three tiers, but the place you have to go is way up here. <laughs> That's what you had to reach to get to actually win the game, which is something I've never been able to do. <laughs> Another salt water, guys, right? Because that we need is more water. Like there was another uh, cold biome over here too. Oh, another one here too. Oh, there's the anti-entropy thermonullifier. This like a, it really cools down everything. Uh, like if you if you this hydrogen and it will cool everything around it. Yep, even at the surface, still water. I'm literally just yeeting water into the surface because there's so much freaking water. Alright, another point six cycles. Uh oh. Well, that's not good because I. <laughs> Shoot. I guess I can't close it because they're about to get here. Which is bad because they're gonna arrive in the middle of a meteor storm. Oh well. <laughs> it's not that I can do. Gonna leave it. I have to leave it open. Yep. I gotta leave it open, otherwise, the rocket will destroy everything on the way. I bet much rather lose a few ladders than lose the the rocket. <laughs> yes, that's a priority to fix that ladder. <laughs> In the middle of a meteor storm. Let me just fix that ladder real quick. The rocket is about to arrive. Brilliant. Point three cycles. Rocket is arriving. Oh my god. <laughs> Get in the freaking path of the rocket. Point one. Here we go. About to land. Oh, now the meteor shower stops. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, 
Oh, does they have to get there and then come back? Is it, so there's three cycles to go and come back? Space mission complete. See, everything is fine. So we got some, we found some fancy stuff over here. A shield generator. And some data banks for science. Rush is driving to Ukraine. Are you serious? Oh no. Do you think this is the start of a massive war now, then? Oh, god damn it, Russia. Two separate states. Well, we're about to switch over some GeoGasser. That was enough only for today. We did just what we said we would. We got, got the space. But now it's time for GeoGasser. Just heard that on the news. Ugh. It is escalating Ukraine's land in Russia has troops in it. Oh my god. And they both never give up. Yeah, it's gonna get ugly very quick. That's rough. Yeah. Now US is responding to it. I I, I don't want to look at this, guys. I just want to I just want to chill, play our geo guesser. I I don't know what's gonna happen out of that. To be honest, <laughs> let's just just have a good time here. All right. Let's see if we can break our twenty two country country streak, which is kind of sad that we only have twenty two so far. Wait, we've been here before. This looks very familiar. Well, it's obviously Europe. Where are we, Dutchie? Let me get some music going on here as well. It's a bit too loud. All right, where are we, folks? It's the street name. Can you read that? All right, so what country do you think do you guys think we're in? Where are we? Okay, obviously Europe. <laughs> The signs were in a, a clue. Is that a map? Anybody recognize the language? That's Sweden. Oh, 
Let's try Sweden. Sweden or Finland? It's Finland.fl. <laughs> We're in Finland. <laughs> Close enough. Next. And he, back to our usual. Middle of a farmland, in the middle of nowhere. Alright, any any guesses? Just right off the bat, see if we can if you'd be amazed at yourself for guessing right away. Where the heck are we? Hop on the highway real quick. Hotel, restaurant. I think it's Denmark. You think it's the Netherlands? Keep walking, maybe we'll find some more clues. Or driving rather. <laughs> Nebij Abelanstre Stadion. Hundred percent in Netherlands. Okay. Alrighty, it's your country. You should know where you where you live, right? Yep. Well done. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm guessing somewhere in the middle of nowhere, where the fuck means what the hell. I think that's Thailand. You just uh, be straight straight to Thailand. That's your guess. Let's find out. All right. Oh, I don't think they speak my language. Let's not bother asking. Oh, go. We found a doggo. Our day is done. Alright, what language is that? So, S Sri Lanka, right? Because they don't have many on India, do they? They normally don't have many, pick many on. So, it's probably Sri Lanka. Nope. It was Bangladesh. <laughs> Rip. Oh, well, guess we gotta restart. <laughs> Not even close to our streak today. What? Okay. Are we the like the the monster from the Predator? Stop. Okay. Um. Really? This is where we're gonna drop me? What the hell, Google Maps? Oh, this is gonna be a crap. <laughs> this is gonna be as much of a crap shoot as possible. The sun is to the southwest. Okay, there is no fucking way anybody can guess this one. No freaking way. If you guess this one, I'll be really impressed. Oh wait, we can, we can still walk. We're gonna go for a walk. Can we actually walk here at all? <laughs> Is 
This is absolutely bonkers. I, I have no idea where we could possibly be. But the census of the or Northern Hemisphere, right? This is like a trip. <laughs> Imagine getting paid to do this, walking around in these beautiful places. Oh, oh! We have a guide. We have a guide. Destacando militar. Durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial, las Fuerzas Armadas de los Estados Unidos se instalaron en la Bautra y otros puntos. Galápagos! That's Galapagos, right? Yep. Pretty cool. Now, I speak Portuguese, but I can understand a little bit of Spanish. Ah, uh, here we go. Back to Europe. The blue and red signs, it's Europe. We're back to Europe. It's looking very flat. Are we in Netherlands again? No? Okay. I seem very sure about this. There's so many nations of blue and white flags. Thought you saw a blue and white flag? Are you sure, Dachi? Are you sure? As long as you're sure, we're just gonna blame you if it's not right. No, ah, it was Slovakia. You're close. It, it used to be one country in the beginning of the 80s, but then they split. <laughs> you were wrong. Let's try again. <laughs> and here we go. Europe again. <laughs> I, was, I swear, Geogaster has like this huge, I hate to say it, but huge boner for Europe. I, I want to say like 80% of all the Geogasters, it's always Europe. There are so many other more beautiful countries to visit, but no, Europe, 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 Europe. <laughs> I mean, when I say countries, I mean continents, but whatever. All right, where are we? <laughs> where is this? Gradak, Kajnis, Zavlak. Shintargrada, where is this at? Does anybody recognize those city names? Because I don't. <laughs> Guess we're gonna go for more, more of a drive. Let's see if we find out. Let's look for some advertising.
Euro Diesel. Nice. It's interesting it doesn't show the prices. West Eastern Europe for sure. Oh, this is definitely not Spain. 100% not Spain. For one, the things would be in Spanish. <laughs> what kind of language has a little... The little thing of above Z's and S's like that? Guess we need a sign. Okay, not that sign. Come on. <laughs> it's sure there's a website there. No, nope, it's not a website. I'm at a complete loss where the hell we are. Completely no idea. Dude, look at those signs over there. Here we go. Where is Prijepolj? Where is that at? Does anybody have any idea where Prijepolj at? Is that? <laughs> That could be Principal too, right? I don't know if that's the name of a city or just that. Principal Road. You think it's Croatia? <laughs> oh god, I have no idea. Let's see if we can find some of those names. This is a lot harder without those amazing players that show up on the chat every now and then. Could it be? Could it be a Lithuania? Could that be? No. <laughs> Go to the Balkans, okay. Oh, you guys are, but there's the guys who just, they look at a sign, oh, because of the little scratch mark and the color of the of the posts, we are in this place. So I'm, I'm well aware that I am terrible at this game, but I love to learn. I want to guess Bosnia Herzegovina. I'm, I'm guessing. If it's wrong, we're just going to start over. Damn it. Oh my god. It was Montenegro. God damn it. Play again. So close. Oh, must be Netherlands. This looks very pretty. It must be Netherlands. Right, Dachi? Netherlands, yes. 
I want to visit the Netherlands. I I just want to go on vacation so bad. Let's have a drive before we go. Yeah, sure. We can we can drive for a little bit. So pretty. Everything is so clean. You think this is Amsterdam? Yep, you're right. It is Amsterdam. Bicycle capital of the world. So pretty. Right. And here we go. Okay, somewhere in Latin America. Yellow sign, yellow uh, license plates must be Ecuador then, right? So then it's two capitals of the world in bicycles and cannabis. Really? gonna give us an a hint well we're in some city called San Jose but where where the hell is San Jose there are a lot of San Jose's yeah it was worth a shot asking. Leon Cortes? El Pueblo Costas. Okay. Let's not even try that. Let's go for a little walk. Somewhere in South America, or maybe it could be uh, Central America too. Can we see where the sun is? <laughs> I'm gonna need an open area, I guess. Can't quite see where exactly the sun is, but it looks like to the south, to the east, southeast. Are we in Mexico, maybe? Because there's a lot of stuff in English, too, around. Does anybody know? Road sign we walk at? It was, but it didn't really say much, was it? I'll go back. Be nice if it was windy so we can tell what the flag is. Volsex.net. Yeah, this one right here, right? That's what you're talking about? This? That one said National Park something something. National Park Volcan Irazu. Where is Volcan Irazu? <laughs> I have no idea.
Oh wait, I think I see the sign that you see. Okay, I see it. <laughs> okay. You think we're in Mexico or the, or the country just behind, just underneath Mexico? What do you guys think? Could it be Mexico or... You think it's Mexico or Guatemala? Because if, if it's going up, it's one mile to one kilometer to Mexico. So I think we're under Mexico. So it could be Guatemala. I'm guessing Guatemala. Yeah, I'll probably look for Cartago. Wait, technically this one is also... Could be Belize as well. <laughs> I think uh, some friends I know are actually going here next week, as a matter of fact, to Belize. God damn it. I don't know if it's Cartago or... or... Yeah, where's Cartago? You could be towards Mexico City, right? So maybe Cartago, somewhere here. All right, I won't mind if you guys Google this stuff up because when it comes to Latin America, I'm hopeless unless it's Brazil. I'm absolutely hopeless. Like I wanna, I wanna say it's Mexico, but the fact that it says Mexico one. <laughs> Could be bordered to Mexico too, so it's Costa Rica. There's Cartago. I'm so confused. <laughs> Guess Costa Rica it is. Huh. I'll be damned. We were both wrong. <laughs> it wasn't either Mexico nor Guatemala or Belize. It was Costa Rica. Hi, right, we know for next time. And here we go again. Alright, any, anybody want to take a wild guess? I'm guessing Germany. My wild guess here is Germany. Very high quality cameras. Oh, Germany covers just all 12 years old and it looks like shit. Really? Okay, there we go. It looks like we have an expert in chat. Yay. <laughs> Save us. I don't mind backseat at all. I'm terrible at this game. I'd love help. Don't mind help at all. Northwest Sun. New Zealand. You think it's New Zealand? This one looks like it's from 2017. I just saw a notification there. 2017 Google. I'm not in his, oh no, we're, remember, we're, we're going the opposite direction. We're driving on the right. I'm actually going, I'm actually going backwards for some reason. We're driving on the right. Husk, Bill Bet. <laughs> You think it's Norway? Are you sure? I'm 
Am I blocking the camera or something? No. Human design is not useful. Well, if you guys are sure it's Norway, I'm going for it. If you guys sure it's Norway, I'm going for Norway. Ending of Goddamn, you're always right. <laughs> it was Norway. Smiro line cargo. Faroe Islands. <laughs> what gave it away? So oh, it's Faroe Islands right here, right? Correct. <laughs> Wasn't indeed then. Apparently, it's all part of Denmark. <laughs> all done. <laughs> I can't get an easy one like the moon. Oh, oh, where are we? This looks pretty. Very old, but very pretty. Amazing. Oh, we have some street signs. Let's see what it says. Looks like Netherlands. Harlingen and Aram. Hey Dutch, can you wave out of your window, please? To make sure that we're from Netherlands. <laughs> Just wave, Dutchy. Just wave. Yep, Netherlands. Oh, sorry. I went for it already. And where we are, where, where is this now? Yep, they love the Netherlands. I don't mind it. It's a very, a very distinct, distinguishable country. Eastern. Yeah, Eastern Europe again. Look, Slovak. Yeah, we had Slovakia earlier today again. This is from 2020, this uh, Google Drive. Mm, hi, Pickles. Did you claw my face? That's rude. It's like a Gen 2 camera. All right, area code 0918. <laughs> Predaj Reziva Poresco Latini, Slovena. So, you're right, Slovakia. Or Slovenia, sorry. This one, right? Slovenia, right? It's Slovakia? Okay, I'm going for Slovakia. Alright, now, now which one is the Zippo? I trust Zippo. I'll go with Slovakia. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and... Polizia. Italy? I 
like, but the most unhelpful portion to drop us in. Should we just guess Italy here or go a little further? But we're literally on a road, so let's just let's just find a place to Tangandu. Pick close. Do you know you're inconvenient? You are. I'm I'm not guessing Italy. We're gonna go for a drive. Sorry. Spaccio Servici. Romania? Yeah. I agree. Let's go Romania. Romania it is. And here we go. Where I'm from now most people guess in about three tries like I actually live in the US but where I'm originally from you have to guess oh are we in America Fox New Zealand <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll trust you New Zealand well Elon, you already know it <laughs> it's not fair if you already know it Uh-huh. Alright. So, if you think it's New Zealand, I'm going for New Zealand. Pickles, can you stop? <laughs> Gosh. It was indeed New Zealand. Well done. And here we go. Back to a... Does anybody want to take a wild guess before we even start moving? Because this could literally be anywhere. The sun is to the south. So we're in Northern, Northern Hemisphere? You think it's Russia? Are you sure? Wow, that was a quick one. I think it's Lithuania. I'm thinking it's Lithuania. Yeah, well give away Russia. Is Russia really this bad? I'm from Brazil, another Peter. That's where I was born. Elian was right, he, but he, I'm sure he knew because I've seen you've been in chat before. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Russia with pipes in the air. Oh, okay. I see it. Nice. Nine countries, that's... Oh, Jesus. You you can feel the heat from the camera here. Wait, I've seen this, this dotted lines like that before. That's Australia, isn't it? Australia, somebody said. Uh, two, my, well, my grandma... I have a, a grandma and a grandpa from Spain and Italy. They left before World War II started. And my other... Grandma and Grandpa, they're... One is native South American. Uh, native in Indian tribe of the Tupi Guarani. And the other uh, is a Brazilian that's descended from the Portuguese. So, Portuguese, native South American, Spanish, and Italian heritage. Those are the four of my grandparents. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> it is London, right? <laughs> I, I don't know this one at all. God, this heat, this heat feels oppressive just to look at it. Yeah, definitely looks like London. Yep. Yep, you're right. Northern Territory. Well, that's pretty. Anybody want to take a wild guess before we move around? The wild guess at the beginning is that up to me is always the most fascinating. So people know it. You think it's Switzerland? Let's, let's ask that basket there. Excuse me, Mr. Basket. Where are we? All right. I think it's France. Siri. Gavi. I don't know, it could be Spain. Contrada? That does not look very French. Italian signs? Hey Moto, how are you? Happy Monday. Because I think it's Italian signs. Yeah, Passigliano. Yeah, we, we gotta be in Italy then, right? Italia, viva! <laughs> okay. All right, this looks American. Nope. <laughs> God damn it, not American. It's Canada? Where did you see French? I completely didn't see nothing in French. Why do you think it's Canada? I didn't see anything written down anywhere. Wait, did that say something in French? Oh. Alright, let's go with Canada. God damn. I don't know why I even bother asking Zippo. You're too good at this game. Alright. <laughs> now that looks like Brazil, just based on the road. <laughs> Argentina. I'm just gonna go for it because I am just impressed. Yep. It was Argentina. <laughs> Zippo, you are god at this game, I swear. <laughs> Maybe because there's no, no roads um, marks anywhere. There's an Argentine pole. Oh my god. Singapore, you think? Hey! <laughs> 
Singapore, yep, you're right. Sure, I click because it's very tiny. Alright, now that looks very clean. Is anybody want to take a wild guess here where you are? Anybody want to take a wild guess? Not USA? What makes you say it's not US? Okay, guess that. <laughs> well, it's, in, it's a highway, so it, it, even though it says CZ, we, we, we might not be in check, right? Do you guys want to just, just want to gamble here, even though there's a car that says that CZ, that we're not in CZ? I think this is a risk. I think this is a risk. But, it's a pretty safe risk. Alrighty. Hey there, Evo Support. How are you? I don't know, I can't remember that. It must be somewhere in Europe then, right? I'm doing alright. Let's go ask people around. Anybody recognize that at all? Did recognize the Sanskrit? Or whatever this is called. Ukrainian? Yeah. Checks out. Same fonts. Nice. All right, now what? What do you think, Sprinkles? Where are we, buddy? Sorry, I don't have any catnip for you. Anybody just that good at it who can figure this out? You think it's France before we even move? Is it because of the bollards? Oh, oh, wait. I disagree with Sif on Save France. Look at the UK driving on the wrong side, so it could be France. But was it the ballers that gave it away? Shane's, Tracy Bocage. Is that France then? Okay. Yep. Well done. Okay. Japan? Must be Japan. Japan. Yay! Japan! It is Japan. But it's sideways. No, Japan is no, never normally sideways, right? You think it's Japan? Let's be careful though.
I don't think there's any coverage in China for Google Maps. But that does that, that does look Chinese. It's Japan. I'm sorry, the Japanese, so it's Japan. <laughs> My god. This is Osaka. Oh my god, it did say Osaka. Amazing. <laughs> Fugili del Fuoco. That's in Italian, right? Telefono. That's that's Italian. There's coverage in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. Really? That's pretty cool. Now before we get Italy, and doesn't isn't there some uh, A4 Trieste? Everybody agree here with Italy? Forever Nurse Streak. Yep, it was. Next round. Ooh, this looks pretty. Where are we? Well, there's some stuff in Spanish, there's some stuff in Portuguese, there's some stuff in other languages, so I have no idea where we could possibly be. Okay, the first language is in Spanish, then it's in Portuguese, and then it's in Spanish again. Are we in Florida? San Francisco. Okay, now it says San Francisco. Okay, I I'm so confused. It's just Spain. Alright, go with Spain. Galicia. Yep. We're in Seville, apparently. Oh my god, Australia? <laughs> Sun is to the uh, northwest. Australia? Right, the base of the, the absolute quality of the camera. Whew. God, this is oppressive heat right here. Let's just go Australia. Yep, yep, yep. All right, the circle. So Korea, South Korea. It's gotta be South Korea. Sure can, other Peter. Let's use the imager or something. Don't use uh, anything that could be. I just say, if it's a bad image, ban for ban for life. Just gonna say it. Alrighty. Look at the difference in development between North and South Korea. My god. Oh, 
Alrighty. What does that say? Anybody recognize the language? Aberdeen, Aberdeen, Danish. So Denmark. <laughs> New York, maybe. Eighty percent sure. It's as good odds to me as ever gonna take it. This is looking at the lens, Dutchy. Since you are here, I think it's Denmark. The yellow car signs. Yellow car signs. All right, let's go Denmark. Yep, Denmark it is. And here we go. This looks American. <laughs> Does anybody think this is America? This looks very American. Let's make sure. Yep. <laughs> America. Where were we? It was in uh, near New Jersey. Well, I know there's a, road, a sign right there, and I saw it, but. But I just want to guess it before I move there and see the signs. If you must ask, why do you care? <laughs> like, I never understand people who ask that question. Like, why do you care? All right. All right, where are we? Iceland, because of the circles over the ace. So Denmark again. I think it's Sweden. Okay, gotcha. Sweden it is. Twenty five in a row. Nice. Thailand. Oh, there's a doggo. There's a doggo. Thailand? Yep, it's Thailand. Or maybe not. Maybe not Thailand, because there's a little circly things that's not... It's somewhere nearby. It's Cambodia, right? I'm going to Cambodia. Nah. Just guess. Oh, it was Thailand. Oh well. <laughs> Gotta break the 25 now. 
Who cares? Alright, I've seen those bollards before. This is a very, very unique way to paint the roads here. It's alright, it's not a big deal. Tourist info. One kilometer. But I don't want to guess what language that is. Okay. So it says sleepy, stop and sleep. Is that what it says? Where are we? All right, Peter, take care. Look at this, hundreds of signs over here. Which are apparently all covered. <laughs> okay. It's 25, Peter. Alright, did you have a good one? Hold up, it does not look like that. Could it be Lithuania? Because it looks like Lithuania. Neo, are you just trolling people in chat? Because if you are, you can just fucking leave. Because we don't need you if you're going to be an asshole in chat. Like, you feel like you're getting on everybody's nerves right now. That's all I'm hearing. Alright, since you can't get the hint here. Just, just fuck off. You can I easily tell you're gonna be fucking annoying. There, count creator now or go. Yeah, it fucking troll. Just, just fuck off. Just, just ignore it. it it's a troll, guys. Just fuck off. <laughs> it, it's just a guy uh, absolutely trying to troll. Everybody's just having a good time playing the game. God, just gotta be fucking annoying. Yeah, just bye. I don't understand people who do that, like, imagine how much of a loser you have to be to just come to complete random stranger chat just to try to get on people's nerves. It just makes no sense. <laughs> just an absolute loser. Anyway. Skip park. Most button. Hey, Eliavi, how are you?
Just wait, he's gonna create another account here in a few seconds and come back. You think it's Norway? I don't know what this one is. This one even says. I'm thinking Norway. I'll just be safe and try Norway then. It was Norway. Good call. I drove enough to figure out it was Norway. Thailand again. <laughs> Alright, next. And here we go. Oh, too much, too much. Come back. No highway. Okay. Think this is Turkey? No, that's not Spanish. <laughs> At all, Dutchie. Not, not Mexico. Doesn't have the little tiled over the G's. Alright, let's go with Turkey. It was Turkey. Well done. Yeah, it was right there. Nigda. Now I have no idea where we are. None. Sure looks pretty though. Austin Felder Street. The Ben said Berlin. Not in the bins. I'm with you guys. That I probably it's probably Germany. Let's just drive a little bit more. Blur out houses, so Germany. Really? There you go. So, do you guys think it's Germany? Let's go with Germany. It's not Germany. It's not Germany. Somebody did say all the cameras in Germany were bad, right? This this looks way too good for a camera from Germany. So it could be Austria. How about we drive around a little bit more, figure out for sure. Let's go out of this neighborhood and maybe go to a center of town somewhere. You guys think it's Austria or Germany, so we, we don't know for sure. These are German road poles? I don't know. I have no fucking idea what German road poles look like. Strabenschaden? I don't know.
Is S and a B? Oh, okay. All right, we're just going to go for Germany. If it's not Germany, too bad. I guess it was. Yep. Very close to Austria, though. Hold that. I'm pretty sure we've seen that exact police car before. Let's just cheat and look at the sign. It's towards Budapest. It's Hungary, right? Yep, Hungary. But it, it was not Romania, no. France? It's looking very French. And here we go. It's a very different <laughs> it's diagonal bollards. I've never seen that before. So where are we? Oh, no, it doesn't look, I thought it was, it looked like that, but. Yeah, it looks like that, right? That's, that's why I zoomed in to make sure. It's that right there. Yep. Wow. Spot on it. <laughs> Sweden. Okay. Next. Oh, no, uh, this must be America. It's looking very sad and depressing. It must be America. Yep. Colombia. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yep. It's America. It looks sad and depressed. It must be America. Thailand. Too easy. Okay, next. Oh my god. Aliens. Mars? Here's more of a challenge. Italy? Maybe. Let's go for a drive. Okay, something was wrong with this guy's camera. Everything's coming up purple. Oof. You sure it's Italy? Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm just fascinated by this guy's camera turning everything purple. How Italians see the world. Italia. Yep. And zoom in that language is that. Will Healy Star? Okay, no idea. No idea. Let's see if I get a sign. Okay. Where, I'm sorry, Swaziland? Or is that Switzerland? It 
Am I wrong in here? And it's not Switzerland. I have no idea then. Oh wait, Swaziland. I'm I'm sorry. I'm tired. Give me a break. All right, so where is that at? Somebody help. I have no idea where that is. It's an enclave between Mozambique and South Africa. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I was actually writing there, not just a shitty brick. No writings. Yeah, I, w I would never even attempt to guess that. I would have said Brazil, but the roads are just way too beautiful and clean. Oh, there it is. Maybe it might be Brazil after all. There's a lot of holes on that street. Yeah, that was definitely our first South Af uh, first African country, uh, country so far. What's the sign say? I knew it. Fucking Brazil. <laughs> Exit and entrance of vehicles. Portuguese like, yep, Brazil. Oh, buddy you hungry it's too early for food okay it's too early for food buddy yeah i don't know picture must be like a uh, ruby i to give the kitties a treat all right sprinkles you get a treat separate from pickles okay because you guys are fighting so i gotta keep you separate Go, buddy. Ow! Don't bite my finger off. Pickles, you just... Ow! <laughs> Don't claw me chest. Just go down, okay? Just a treat like that. <laughs> Alright. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, it's definitely politicians. Yeah, it looks like it's in, in Spanish, somewhere here in Spain, uh, Latin America then. It could also be uh, Singapore, not Singapore. Uh, shoot, Philippines. It could be Philippines too. No, it's Brazil again. Poraima. It's Brazil again. Brazil. <laughs> oh, this is my country, I know. <laughs> if it's my country, I, I can tell easily where it is. It's a shady country, so it's... This looks stopped again. Yeah, Brazil is pretty huge. Oh, let me get some more music going here real quick.
we're back to Europe. <laughs> to me, all Europe looks exactly the same. It's only if you're from there you can tell the difference. To me, they all looks the same. Okay, where where are we? Go tanks. Where is this at? Anybody know? Poland? Okay. Polandia. Nice. And here we go. This looks like somewhere... I have no f absolutely idea where we are. Yep. I would say Chile because of the super high altitude and how close the sun is. <laughs> Oh, that's the end of the road. Can't go any further. This is where the Google car died. Yep, they died over there. This is what the cats are doing. They're hissing at each other. Can you stop? Can you stop hissing at your sister? That'd be great. Okay. No? Ready? Alright, well, gotta get out of here. And yeah, this could literally be anywhere. Yeah, I'm kinda leaning towards Argentina myself. Oh my god, driving through this is gonna be like forever. Absolutely no idea where we could possibly be. <laughs> you think it's Utah, Ruby? <laughs> well, we're gonna have to find some signs. The, f the extreme lack of trees or vegetation of any kind, that's what tells me that it were super high altitude. Yeah, this is tundra, right? For the most part. So we gotta be. It's either Argentina or Chile. Got it. Oh, that, 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 that's as far as the road goes, so we have to take a guess. What do you guys think? Chile or Argentina? Let's see, the sun is to the north, so we're in the southern hemisphere, obviously. I'm gonna go Chile. Even though... They don't really have much coverage in Chile, I have to say Argentina. I'm gonna say Argentina. If it's wrong, it's on me. Yeah, it's Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Just a tip though. Oh. All right, it's in Spanish, so could be anywhere in the world. fucking clue <laughs> what the present place feels like home <laughs> oh my god oh there's an area code man this place must be off the hook Ch uh, kids parties uh, late night ballads pajamadas that's like <laughs> dressing your pajamas baby showers adult reunions ad an, uh, Impresarias, that's that's like <laughs> despedidas. This could be chilly. 
I have absolutely no idea where we could possibly be. Is this Paddy? Must be more Latin America. They are very proud of their of their language. Yeah, the barbed wire really sells the place. Oh my god. <laughs> this is where we come if you want to die. Yeah, like, excuse me, sir. We're, we're, we're just traveling here through Google Drive. Uh, can you tell us where we are? No parking. That's no A. It's the, it's the prohibited stuff in there. I'm guessing Argentina again. Puerto Seguro, Seguros. Wait a minute, we found some main road. Uruguay, we're in Uruguay. Ha! Thank you, chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Uruguay. We're in Montevideo. That's where we were. Hooray. Oh, we're in another one that speaks Spanish. <laughs> so it can be on, on anywhere in the world again. Let's go for a drive. Pharmacy or Lady of Fatima. Annoying candidate. Okay. It's the third road with line of police cars. I know, right? Because they just like to follow the Google car and make sure they're up to no good. Dog! Dog! Oh well. I love, I love when I see a dog. It's the best. It's like no indication of any sign where we could possibly be. Yeah, at least we've been going to different countries today instead of just the same st Oh, another dog! Well, I'll, instead of the same countries back to back to back. Alright, if we go there, it's, it's going to the highway, so I guess we gotta turn around. Don't go across the street. doesn't say anything. Another dog, oh my god, another dog. No, it's a five out of seven road though, three dogs in one road. Can anybody read that? Do we need an enhance here? I can't fucking read that. Yeah, the other stuff is the problem. 
Oh, I guess we're leaving this crappy town and going somewhere else. <laughs> Urban zone. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared to drive this way now. Is that another dog? Oh, Is that that doggo? Goodbye doggo. Oh. This could be our hint right here. Really? You're gonna block that? Of the nation. Oh my god. Talavera. Anybody wanna look? No, that's that's not it. This is Royal Social. Yeah, I have no idea. I have to guess Mexico here, but I don't know. This could be anything. Excuse me, sir. What the fuck are we? I don't want to break our streak. Our streak is going so well in this one. The one I don't want to just ball, ballpark guess where we are. Oh my god, such a long freaking road. Now this could be chilly, I suppose, but then we wouldn't have this many trees because Chile is super high altitude. Anything written on the guy's car? Nope. I guess we're just going for a very long drive. It's like no street signs, nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Water. Water tower. I goes the south. Uh, now I'm getting lazy. <laughs> of course it was Argentina. God damn it. It was Argentina again. Oh, 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 here we go. Here's a challenge. Here's a proper challenge. Guess we gotta look for an airport. Oh, you saw Beirut somewhere? Where did you see it? Have ever started? Tunisia, you think? Tunis Marine. Okay, let's just go for it. Good guess. Good guess. I 
Alright, let's keep going. Oh, jeez. Can't be turkey because people, people know how to drive. Oh, jeez. Okay. Back to Europe, I guess. Ukraine again? Ukraine again. It was not Ukraine. Should not have rushed that. Rip. 18. Sorry, I rushed that one. There's a kitty up here. It's okay. And here we go again. <sighs> My god, why? Okay, sprinkles. Argentina, Turkey, perhaps. There we go. Oh, he wants food. That's all he wants. He just wants food. I'm sorry, Lavi. I know. I could have, could have waited. Back in Europe again. Oh, it's Turkey, you think? idea can't read anything on that what's it Kazik on the on the right side A flag. Yep. It was in fact Turkey. This is looking Australian. Driving on the right. <laughs> I did not notice that earlier. Hi, buddy. No. 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 It's probably gonna be the last one, folks. If we if we lose, this will be the end of it. However, we're gonna keep going until we fail. Okay, if the second we fail, they'll be the, they'll be it. All right. Anybody want to guess what that is? What language is that? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. We Russia invaded in two two states in Ukraine.
Netherlands. Okay. Oh, nope. Your second choice was right, Dutchie. It was South Africa. Okay, this one was way too short. With the first guess. Okay, let's just go again. This one was too short. One more. One more. That one didn't count. It was too, too soon. South Africa again? Nope, it was Poland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's just let's take this serious now. Now, now we're just just throwing. Okay. All right, game. Screw you too. Yeah, yeah, I know. No landmarks. Just, just pretty. Pretty landscapes. That's all. Hmm. Is that a goat? That is a goat or sheep? Sheep? Lamb? It's a lamb. What do you guys think? Where are we? I think it's New Zealand. Go for it. Yep, well done. <laughs> okay, game. Okay, then. Wait, wait, wait. What's this sign? All right, where are we? <laughs> Somewhere in Europe. Does anybody know? Can be Serbia? Somewhere in Polish Lithuania. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go again. Do you want to just guess Serbia, Iliavi? You think? I'm gonna take your, your local there, so you probably should know this stuff. I know, we never got a Lithuania this whole. This whole oh. That's the C thing. I don't know, that C kind of looks like that. I'm gonna go with that. I trust you. Serve it is. Ah. Nope. Okay, okay, we gotta get at least above one country streak. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that, that doesn't count. Brazil.
Nope. I've seen that. Didn't we just had one that had a sign right like that before? Like I remember seeing one that had this sign before. I guess somewhere in Europe then. Portugal? We're in Portugal, I think. Yep, it's Portugal. Netherlands again? Or back in the Netherlands? Very cozy roads. Maybe Spain? Could be Spain? Roy Corius we get. It's France? Okay. Okie dokie. Well done. Somewhere in Asia? Yep. Japan. <laughs> Sorry, that was too easy. Okay, it's in Spanish, not Portuguese. Here we go again. This is looking at Colombia. This is looking like Colombia to me. We need more information though. No, actually. Some of the stuff is there's stuff that's in Portuguese, some in Spanish. So that's weird. That's very unusual to have two languages. It could be on the, the city that uh, right at the uh, border between Brazil and, and. Or maybe not. I am so confused right now. I have no idea where we could possibly. This could be Philippines. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't have Spanish and Portuguese in the same city, though. If somebody see like a flag or something, let me know. Let's see if there's any website on that poster right there. Please tell me there's a website. No. Damn it, Nicole. You have one job. You just put a website there. Quinceanera. So it's somewhere in Latin America then. Quinceanera. <laughs> Why does that name sound so freaking familiar? Victor Hugo Musha. Yep, there's that symbol right there. Say Mexico. No, that's not that's not Mexico. Oh, here we go. Can we do some better? Misto. Oh, okay. 
It's Ecuador. Ha! Huh, there you go. Thank you, Ecuador. Finally. Okay, dokie. Here we go. Skips too quick. Back in Europe again. Sara Let's be bus in a different language. Or van. <laughs> Murder house. It's Poland. <laughs> you say Lithuania. I'm to get inclined to just pick. It's written in the middle of nowhere. That's probably where we are. Nowhere, Lithuania. It'd be funny if there was an extra road called Nowhere, Lithuania. No fucking idea. No. Usna. Anybody have any idea where that is? Usna. It's gotta be Estonia, right? Where's Estonia? Estonia. It's very pretty, though. I'm very close. It's it's just a north north Lithuania. Uzna. I remember that from uh, was it Hearts of Iron 4 that I saw that city? Uzna. <laughs> uh, here we go. Can we, can we get something a little bit more less in the middle of nowhere? That'd be great. Science. Mentivliskus.
It is Lithuania? Do we finally get Lithuania? Amazing. Pog. Yay. <laughs> the meme is complete. Okay, I don't recognize that one. This is Vietnam. That's what the, that's what their how their fonts are. I trust you guys because I'm going in completely blind on this one. Yeah, they kind of look similar. Let's go with it. I believe. Yep, you got it. Well then, I trust you guys. Here we go. Farm. <laughs> Trees. Road. Thanks. Thanks, Google Maps. I'm getting really sick of seeing farms now. Oh, at least we got cows this time. Moo? No? In a trailer park. Marka? It's very claustrophobic roads. I think it's the UK? Yellow license plates? UK? I just want to drive around just to enjoy the claustrophobic road. No parking, no turning. Wow. Somebody hate, hates the, their entry to their house. Yeah, UK. That, that confirmed it right there. <laughs> Can we not? Alright, pick a direction, folks. North? I mean, do we go west or east? Go that way. No, 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 this way. That is blurry. Blur a, a sign. Wait, we've seen this before. It ju looks just like that. Pastisiai? Anybody know where that is? Any clue? Isn't it Lithuania again? It's Lithuania again. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's Lithuania again. Let's make sure. Let's find the city. No, I want to find it.
You guys think should we should we just go for it? Pass aside, there you go. Haha. <laughs> Idea, there it is. <laughs> Lithuania. Two Lithuanians, we have been blessed. Double Lithuania. Okay, really sign. What's this? No idea. There's no way we got it twenty three times in a row. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my god, triple Lithuanians. <laughs> How? <laughs> triple Lithuanian, one go. Oh, here we go. be Spain let's go for a little more we'll walk or drive whatever wait what language was that <laughs> great can't read the sign now definitely not Portuguese Spanish country, but where? Let's take the detour. Let's let's be respectful here. A factory, Park Brown. Okay. Helps nothing. LGBT March 2013. Alright, have a good night, Olivi. Jet plane. That is a jet plane. Argentina. Oh, that looks like absolute shit, but yeah, Argentina. We're in Buenos Aires, that's where that was. And this looks very American. Gonna have to drive anyway because this could be literally anywhere. <clears throat> it's a lot like North Carolina, but. Maybe not. Not, not the US. It's Europe again.
Yep. Curved, weird looking signs. Alright, back to Europe. Yet again. Looking more like either Norway or 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 uh, Sweden, though. Now that I, they look more like this is either Norway or Sweden or Finland. We need more signs. Wait, was that like a tiny dog in the middle of the road? Oh my god, I gotta go back and see this. Nope, that's a leaf. Can I have a sign anywhere, please? Great, thanks for the help. Sign. Oh, finally a sign. Machilanti is the name of a road. Here we go. Asunkoski Niskakoski. Any idea? Asunkoski Niskakoski. No idea what that is. I think it's Finnish. I say we guess Finland, and if it's not, it was a good game. Let's go Finland. You're right, it was Finland. Well, this is pretty. Fight the landfill. This looks American. Gonna explore a little bit more though. Yeah, cul de sac, yeah, it's America. Where are we though? It just says fight. The bin said fight the fight the landfill. That's what that's what they want to zoom in on them. It's very American. I just wanna know where we are. Actually the vet might be able to tell us. No, we're not in America. New Zealand. Oh, threw us for a loop there. Glad I didn't guess America. It was New Zealand. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Bhutan? Nabutan? What does that say then?
They have Malaya, they have a city called Vinton. Mal Malaysia or is there is there an actual country called Malaya? I'm sorry. Indonesia. Oh shit. No, I don't know. Oh, I guess we're driving. Malaysia is a country. Okay. We're going for a little drive. So where, where exactly is Bintan? Island below Singapore? That's Bataan, this is Bintan. Bintan, okay. Maybe it's, you're right. We'll go with this one. Okay, I guess it's all that is Indonesia. <laughs> oh my god. Dog? Dog. I was thinking Greece too, I don't know why I was gonna... I was thinking Greece too. No. Thailand. Right? Thailand? Oh, it was wrong. It was Cambodia. Ah, uh, that's it. Oh, folks. It was close, but... Nah. Mm. I'm gonna call it here. That's a good run. Yeah, probably could have paid more attention to the letters. They could have done a better guess, but... It's all good. So, I don't think there's anybody in no streaming right now. Get through a little raid at him, but... Let's just see anyway. It's like Bl uh, Blue Zass is streaming. I'll go say hi. Alright folks, well, appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for chilling, watching. Sorry we had a few trolls so they had to take care of take out the trash. But other than that, it was a pretty chill day. We got a rocket launch and only oxygen not included. It was great. So have a good rest of your week, and let's hope World War III doesn't start today with Russia invading Ukraine, right? Have a good night.